Betty, Friday Night Vanguard. I'm here with Klaus. And I am your host, Splashy. We're going to be casting this first game with Klaus. Um, we have Novas versus Kagero. And uh, what kind of mat what kind of things in this matchup are you looking for to really take place? Well, I'm just going to see if Alex, who's on the right side playing Kagero, if he's going to punish Ben's early use of Nova rear guards. Even if Ben's going to throw one or two out, I'm expecting instant punishes with a great two berserk or a great bomb with bombs. Interesting. Uh, what it, what it, what do both decks try to go for in this matchup whenever they're versing each other as well? Well, Nova's, they're going to try to, and this is just going to be trigger-based, but they're going to try to get the opponent to five as soon as possible. And he's starting out with Jet Riser, which is just a plus 3k every time you do a rear guard. It's only good as a rear. I would like to see Death Army guy, but, you know, you don't run too many of them anyway. We'll see him ride grade one, so no G assist there. Able to stay on track for the game as well. Uh, how he seems to... Uh... What's it? He's on Wyvern Strike Jargo. It's another. Did he ride? ride? He, I believe, he went first. Did he go first? Okay. Yeah, so, so Ben is going first second, trip. going first in this new format. It's just obviously still the best way to go. Mm -hmm. And he's attacking. He will attack. So yes, Ben. There you go. Yeah. No trigger hit, but Death Army got a hand. Okay, so didn't hit. That's the one thing where sometimes you're running seven Ks against forces, and he's going to get the Berserk, but he doesn't get the effect off because he can't pay a counter. <laughs> We need that damage, but it's just not quite there. <laughs> and he hit the bar, so no trigger again. No triggers. No and triggers. Back to back, no triggers. Of course, Ben drew the perfect guard. <laughs> yeah. See Ben go to grade two here. High-powered custom riser, which calls out the starter. If it hits, he can counterblast one, add to soul, and stand a rear. So Ben's going to be looking to attack with his rear first and then try and get that vanguard attack off. Interesting. I... I I gotta, I gotta say, that, yep, there goes the rear guard. I would assume he's attacking with the rear guard. Power he does 15. take the damage. Oh, okay. So, oh, he got the heal, and he took another damage, and okay. So it'd be two to zero in damage off the jump. Not bad. He had a none to pass anyway, so. All right, and he goes to, was that another Berserk Dragon? Did he rewrite? He must have, he must not have a grade three. Yeah, he must not yeah. have a grade mm -hmm. three. But he's still thinning out the deck, and I can't tell, but he might have drawn Waterfall there. All right. So he starts Nahalem, so he uses Berserk Dragon and Nahalem to take out that entire column. I think he's trying to figure out if he wants to put more rears down to punish him. Yep, and he's going to call an Aramo, which is, of course, not in danger of being retired because he's playing against Nova Grapplers. Tax for the 10k. I think Ben's deciding if he wants to throw down a 15 for an underpass. Throws down for the underpass, gets the crit, puts all the effects on the rear, and he gets a 28 2 damage. And, of course, Ben takes that because he wants to be able to use Perfect Riser. All right, and he goes to the Perfect Riser gets the free excel gift and he's actually got a lot of big hand to be able to throw down rears oh and he throws down death army guy that's not bad last week what we saw uh, when when we were casting we saw a lot of players run out of cards in their hands not being able to redistribute their rear guards after them being attacked do you know what would cause players to not have enough rear guard or enough cards in their hand period to uh, not be able to keep could up could be a couple things um any rear guards that throw down should either get punished with card effects or get punished by directly attacking them also, you could be not running a lot of draw triggers. True. You run the minimum of four draw triggers for perfect guard. I personally, for my build, I like six. Okay. Um, but that's just one of the bad things about this matchup. If you throw down too early, up, and he's going to throw down the two, the 16K to Vanguard. This will just need a 10K. Yep, he throws down the 10K. Throws down a 19K. Another 10K. And I got to say, the gifts, uh, me seeing the game for the first time last week, mm -hmm. a wonderful addition to the game. I actually really do enjoy watching the gifts get played and used in... Uh, the current state, I, I mean, just seeing there, instead of placing one in the third row, you right. place it where the gift is for the plus 10k. There's a lot of strategic diversity so far. I mm -hmm. think he's opted not to guard Ooh. that gift. The front trigger takes the damage, gets the crit and power to Berserk Dragon. So he's going to be standing did two he, units. So did he not give the crit to? The uh, he, attack? Oh, he well, he damage checked. Okay. So he's got a front trigger, so he's got he's going to have to be taking a lot of punishment. He took, he, took, he guarded draw, one yeah. and took the other attack. That'll be the pass. So does he have... Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, he attacked the rear. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was just a punish. I would have probably taken him to five damage there, personally, because Novas are at their best when your opponent can't damage check. Yeah. 
goes not only does he go berserk dragon twice he goes to first red waterfall so this is probably like the worst that this could turn out for Magro, other than We'll see what he can do to get himself out of this pickle right here. He does ride to his grade three. Uh, is that the first time? I did miss He does have two up in counter blasts, so he could do some punishes on the rears. It looks like he's going to go is for the punish. A gift? He has a gift right there. Oh, okay. 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 okay, goes for that retire. It's plus 5k. And it's a 21k column, but, you know, still not the best number. And with uh, Ben being at two damage, it's not looking like uh, yeah, it's going to be a game-ending turn. He's going to be very low. Yeah, I would have, I would have forced him on five to really, you know, make him think about putting down cards. Yeah, because all these, all these ones that are worth five k and ten k shield, a lot of them will be better than Ben. Yeah, but because he's at four, he knows he can take at least one attack. Well, hopefully without a uh, triggers being involved. But Ben also putting him at five damage when you're at two, you basically get a free turn. Mm -hmm. and it looks like he's, he only has about three to four cards in his hand, yeah, so if, which is rough. If, if he was able to punish his entire field, the only other thing here is that Waterfall retires Grade Two. Oh, okay. So he's got a bunch of Grade Ones out. Oh, and it looks like he ticks the attack, no trigger at all, and he got the damage check draw trigger. So not only does Spillover not have enough damage to attack the Vanguard, Ben's Vanguard's at twenty two thousand. Ben just checking a card effect, I would assume, here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it, uh, Spillover, I'm pretty sure, only applies its effect when it attacks the Vanguard. And he will attack the... Uh, He's Rigard attacking the... Rear. Yeah. He, he does the Death Army well. guy. Okay. Ben does have a Cup Bowler in his hand. Honestly, I'd yeah. like to replace the Death Army guy with the Cup Bowler, but he but. needs another hero out on the field. Um, looks for 21 to 22, so it looks like he can only attack the rears. Unless oh, somebody has their math wrong. Yeah, yeah, he's going for the rear. Yeah. Keeping that keeping that game state honest. All right, and he just guards it. because He's probably got another thing to throw in front of Because last, well, last week, I forget which game it was, but uh, we, did see, we did see a, uh, a math problem where somebody attacked and they let it through. Oh, yeah. Damage not adding up to one of the players, and we were scratching our heads you'll on you'll it. You'll either have players that let attacks, like, you know, they'll try to attack with low numbers and see what happens, or yeah. they just don't know. It's... But Cup Bowler is going to be out, but there's no other heroes on the field. So it's just going to be a basic 17,000. Which is still good. It's still all right. What is the, uh, his Vanguard is just a flat, um... Fat 13,000. Yeah, so a five guard for that. I think he's checking his graveyard for triggers. All right, gives him no guard for here, gets a Splendor chain. and a grade two, no triggers. I him at five doesn't damage. look like it a trigger It doesn't look either. like he can end. I, I feel like, um... He has enough cards in hand. Oh, yeah, he just has to guard two okay. easy yeah. attacks here. I think 10k should both do that. Yep. Mm -hmm. he, Ben's got to be careful here because he doesn't have a lot of cards in his hand. PGs are useless. A waterfall with the Gaios could take him from three to six. So, he's thinking about taking that one with the Jargo. We're coming down to the last yep. two here. That's mm -hmm. the guard. Yep. That's the 17 on the Vanguard, and that's another guard. Yep. That was an overguard, but, you know, probably, let's see what he's got here. And the other waterfall. So he's going to have plus 20,000 on his vanguard and an opportunity to do two damage. This is going to be a big turn. Ben needs to make a pass this turn. Yeah. And he retires that, so he can't intercept with it. Even more shield that he can't use. How many cards does look like Ben? Ben has four or five in his hand. I think what? four. It looks like four. Good Add five. to soul, gets that counter charge and draw from Aramo with the waterfall retire. Moves out. Nahalem, he's getting that back row. Plus 5k. Yeah, he's going for it this yeah, turn. He's, he's definitely I'm going for sure it. I'm pretty sure I see be... the Gaios. I'm pretty sure I see it. Now he needs two damage here. Two, or is Ben he's at, at Ben's at three, so Ben's he'll need three. to inflict okay. three damage, but he's really got that Gaios in his hand. He's got Bar, retire another. Well, Bar has to retire in the same column. I don't think he's got any I in the same. Think ben he doesn't have any. Oh, you there. know what? He's just getting the 5k. You don't have to retire a unit to get that 5k. Oh, and he's got the guy so he's going to go for that three damage. This is going to be 43,000 three damage. So, and he says, Oh, he's on. taking it. That's a heal trigger right there. Wow. All right, two. two. That's a front trigger. And, okay, wow. front trigger. Wow, he takes it. Even with that the is worst, going to be, oh. even with those worst rides possible on Kagura, other than assisting, he takes him from three to from six. From three to six in one attack. That's First a, attack of the that's turn. That's a problem. He damaged, He even damage checked one draw trigger on the Nova side, and he still didn't have enough cards. That's just something you got to watch out for. That is, wow. What a play. 
I that's did not just, see that coming. That's, that water, was... that is waterfall that did <laughs> JPEG. <laughs> waterfall well, that JPEG. We did not see that last week at all. And no, really? Is, no. You know, that's kind of... When we we had, were wondering where Kagero's strength was all last week because we actually had three games of it on stream and we were just like, man, it just seems like Kagero's being beat by everything. We saw a Nova game, we saw a Royal game, really? uh, two of them each, and we were just like, man, what's going on? Like, it's it's funny that strength? you talk about the Royals matchup because Kagero's strength is that high Vanguard deny with two to three damage on it. So your main strategy with Kagero is to keep your opponent at three to four damage, counter blast starve them, especially if they're Royals because they can't counter charge. And then just take them directly from four to six as many turns as you want. You we know, just felt like they had the card advantage at all times, the hand advantage. The true. royal player did. And, and Kagero. Kagero's day. try to mitigate that by running one to two draw triggers. Um, but that's the thing: if if royals get enough tempo up, they crit you early with blaster blade, you know, and they just perfect guard the first overlord. They can tank one or two vanguard attacks, even with a waterfall. Interesting. So, all right, looks like they're going to start again. I'm Game assuming two. that Ben's going to want to go yeah, first. For sure. Going first. Sending two nice. back? Or no, sending three back, actually. Each sent three back. Do you like the new Mulligan? Oh, I, I, I think the new Mulligan is just a strict mathematical improvement. Only because you throw back three triggers, you can't get those three triggers back. I, mean, yeah. I don't know. Like when you were well, playing, the, yeah. the when you were playing, the <laughs> amount of times you shuffle back draw triggers and you just start with them. Yep. It's it's painful. Sometimes you get rid of a uh, of a hand that you deem as bad and just get an even worse mm -hmm. hand back, and you're like, okay, well, well, I guess so. There's just it's just a little bit of an improvement, and I do enjoy that. Let's see, he's going for oh, he went on Death Army, Army guy, so that means no matter what Alex rides here, he has to do one to pass unless he throws down a booster. Yeah. He, you know, he, he told me he this. You know, it. he told me this afternoon. You know, just throw down boosters. I'm pretty sure oh, that was a heal trigger. A early but, damage, yeah, yeah. Oh, he has to go for the grade two. That's a lot of front triggers and miss Splendor. Yeah, Ben, don't run Miss Splendor. That card's bad. Run more grade twos. Or what run... does that card do? Um, it it's that, a yeah. grade. It's it's a grade three with no gift, by the way. Base twelve thousand power, and all the heroes on your field when they attack, they get three k in your opponent can intercept. Really nice on paper. I agree. This is a weeb. Right. <laughs> Next is the white shorts. But. Weeb game. Bellum, please. <laughs> if you're going to come for my chat and flame, flame properly. Don't do the weeb game stuff. What's up? What's going on, Bellum? But anyways, continue. Why yeah, so. On paper. One, it doesn't have a gift. Any grade threes that don't have a gift has to do an insane amount of things for it to be worth it. Really? Yeah, okay. insane amount. And it, you you ride that thing as your main grade three? Really bad. Good morning, Bellum. Goes out the high power customizer. He had to take away two cards in his hand. Yeah, he did. I am not That's sure which him. ones he took. Yeah, he's going to have no cards left. So what Alex is going to be looking for here is he's going to immediately retire that starter. Yeah, for sure. Coming so up on his gonna, turn two, right here. Oh, he, he, I guess he doesn't have the bar. I guess he doesn't have anything he to retire. He'll just crit. crit. Yep. And now, he's at three damage, right. and this is... Uh, not good. Not worth. The ben only thing that would have made it completely worse is if he made. It. Oh, see, that's what exactly what I'm talking about. No gift. No nothing. Like cool, your cut bowlers are seventeen thousands. But that doesn't. You're not getting a gift. And he's got I mean, one imagine card. Imagine having an extra row. Yeah. With the ten k. I mean, sure, you're giving two units three k, right? You said all front row units get three k. All the heroes that attack get three. Okay. Which is all. Which is a six k boost. Whenever you know. they attack. Um. Because back and front or no, no just the one just that the attacks. Attack? Okay. That's so he'll be yeah. That's way worse than having a gift. He'll and and Battledore Fighter. So that's the other great three hero that mm -hmm. you run. It's a seventy thousand by itself. It has an Excel gift. It has an okay Vanguard effect. At the very least, it has a good Vanguard. Effect. Right. So, you know, Miss Wonder, if you're running just a pure hero build, maybe one. But the great twos are even better. So well, we'll Alex is looking to take these attacks. Yeah, he he can he, he need he just all he wants is counter bust at this point. Yeah, because he knows he can put Ben in a very tight situation very very quick. Yep, and and he has to yeah, assist oh. too, but, but not as bad. You know, if he I gets think... the if he gets Overlord here, no, he gets Waterfall. Yeah, yeah. all right, I think he'll take it. He, he'll take it. you know, all he's got to do is crit twice. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> That's it. Done. The only bad thing about this type of situation is uh, wait, do you get to pick? Uh, Alex gets to pick which cards go out of his hand. Why is Ben picking? Uh, he's he's assuming that they're going to be taken out. He's just he's saying, of course, those ones. Yeah, Alex would choose the exact same things. I'm sure. Okay. He gets. I was just. I was going to say, is that a new rule? No, or right. Is it they picked him? That would be an even harder punishment. Oh, like, my. oh, you G assisted for grade one. I'm taking out your other grade two yeah. and grade three. <laughs> so he punishes by taking out the cup bowler. Obviously, the one behind the mm -hmm. customizer uses airmost skill. 
He doesn't have a lot of cards in his hand, so he could look to do two damage with a Gaius right away, maybe? I mean, he might come through and do another Yeah, three he's going to try it. Yeah. He's yeah. just... You know, if I was him, I'd throw out more rears here, but he's just looking Don't to try and finish him. it out. But is Ben going to guard this time? Because, hey... Fully he's got four to five him. cards in his hand. <laughs> This is uh, 23,000. He needs to. He needs to He could just this. throw down 30,000 and just kind of two pass it. Yeah. But that would have been too. <laughs> yeah, 30,000 or 25,000. He could just run a grade one go? in front. Ben doesn't want to get hit with the same thing. Does he, he really not have a grade one in a front, or is he just assuming he won't get a crit? He, only, he only needs one crit, correct? One crit. One and crit. then to take him from three to six. <laughs> Although at, any, at, at this point, any heal trigger will go off. Dude, with Weed Mat is going to win. Okay. Uh, one and two. No crit, so he just takes two damage. But still putting him at five. Uh, he gets a draw trigger, so that's pretty okay for him. So he's just looking to survive this turn and then just go straight to another waterfall. Play. And oh, Ben and he, took game one. No, Ben did not take game he one. He didn't rewrite no. grade three, so he still doesn't have any Excel gifts. He's playing with a whole lot of just, you know, he's playing wheelchair vanillas. Yeah. yeah. He's playing, some he's, vanilla he's Vanguard, playing yeah. Vanguard without gift. Is this is pretty if this guy doesn't have four of a Shura Kaisers, but he still runs this, <laughs> you know, he could take most of these attacks. Yeah, 10,000, yeah. completely mitigate it with the shield. He can take one more and guard the other. And be fine. So and look 23, at the next he's got 13K, 14K, so 24, so it's a 34,000 column on this one right now. Ben's going to be on the ropes next turn. It's going to be a very rough turn. Absolutely. Time. He's just trying to see what higher column value is. So he can take one and probably guard the other. Yeah. We'll see him guard here. Oh, he takes that damage. Yeah, so that's he'll guard the last probably one. the okay. higher column. Yeah, that one will probably require a fifteen. Boom. Yep, there you go. So Ben, right now, he has five cards in his hand. He goes to the other waterfall. This is going to be a forty-three thousand. He's probably going to put another booster behind just to help. He should, and he could even he could have he could attack with other rear guards as well. I mean, he could go all hesitating full to put down the Nahalam because. But why though? Why would he be hesitating? Well, I feel the like thing about grade two is, is you can guard with them on the field and in your hand, so you should just throw them out anyway. The only thing he's worried about is if uh, he te if he gets a heal trigger, damage checks it, and then the Holland can't get past it. True. But, oh, he's, well, nope, he just throws down yeah. some grade ones and the Holland. Yeah, he's just going for it. <laughs> that's, that's I think that's the play there. I think it's honestly. Yeah, so we find Wyvern point, Strike right. Jargos each get 5K mm -hmm. in total. This is a 26,000 lane. Can't use any bars right now. Can't use any more retires. So, yeah, he's he's just going Maybe for attack. the interceptor. He's going to go for the rear guard. So yep. what he's assuming here is guard. even if Ben can guard this, any crits can just go to rear guard. Yep. So that's two and damage. Will, I, I mean, Ben can't say no pass. <laughs> I mean, if he gets a heal here, he can perfect guard the other one. Yes. So and it's that possible. that is best case situation. It's possible. Best case I don't scenario. think we've seen, we've seen one heal trigger out of Ben so far. I'm fairly sure. But this isn't this isn't spikes. This isn't touches yet. You can't thin your deck out of triggers, so you know it's gonna be hard. It looks like he's gonna go for the guard, shuffling his cards around in his hand. So right now it's at a forty-three thousand. So in order to get one past that, you need a thirty thousand shield. So he needs two fronts. So he's setting aside he's setting aside a, his draw trigger and his card for the bridge play. He does. It looks like he has enough, but he'll just have nothing for the next turn, even if he lives. Yeah. And with his hand advantage right now. Oh, and he even retired two three. units. So Wyvern Strike Jargo's yeah. lane is 36. He did. 000. He retired his whole entire uh, you get, left it, row. He gets one, just one trigger, one crit. And it's over. Yeah. Yeah. So he's throwing down 30,000. That's a one to pass and immediately does not pass it. All wow. Right, all right. So he gets the 36 one damage. And, and there goes Ben shuffling no, it out. He's going to guard it exactly. I would have just taken it. Why wouldn't, you know, you just take it. Ben's him. at five. Yeah, you would take the... Oh, he's at five. Yeah, he is at five. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. I was you like, take oh, that fine, damage. just take the six. <laughs> yeah, just take it. If you, have, if you have Psyqualia, take the fifth damage. <laughs> so he actually gets a card with effects on the great three. <laughs> so basic 17k column. This is the reason that high-powered customizer and death army guy aren't the best. Army... So Iron Killer and Cut Bowler are both great twos that get to 14k by themselves. On Excel columns, they'll get 24,000. Mm -hmm. So right now, I believe he's got, let's see, if he shuffles his hand, he's got about five cards. He, let's see, he's got, ben does, ben he's has got one four, more chance. he does have four cards in his hand. If Ben pulls a front trigger, or any trigger here, if he tries a one to pass me. I don't think he will, though. Stretch this into a game three, maybe. You know, I'm surprised. It, it'd take a miracle. Even though this is standard, there's actually still a lot more. 
I was feeling like, how are you going to fill this space with this? <laughs> no, there's a lot. There's a ton of stuff you can talk about, especially with having you here because you are more of a... Uh, you definitely know the game better than I do. Uh, I've, I've, I haven't even read the cards yet. I've literally only watched people play. So yeah, having you here is very... I've been, I've been going card by card since, yeah. like, you know... Even now, Dad, we have the extra booster cards printed out. And oh, we've do been, you? We've been testing them. Are they good? Are you excited? Uh, I am. Okay. It, so Spike Brothers is basically just Battle Royale Paladin. Okay. Uh, Mega Colony, you know, makes Ben upset, but it's kind of bad. <laughs> is it bad? It's It doesn't have a good identity, and a lot of the cards don't work super well together. Okay. And then uh, it is Ben also right now, right? Yeah. Ju- ben is judging by the pre-order sales in Japan, Japan seems to do pretty good. So. Mm. I mean, they can do free damage, and their excel, so they don't get restaining abilities, but they get four massive attacks. Which isn't bad. Yeah. So he has to go for twenty-eight to eighteen, I believe here. So that's a one to pass immediately. Wow, gets it. and he gets it, and that'll be. Some shenanigans. Uh, and see he gets here. it again. Does We're not. going All into right. game three. All okay, right. wow. Pulling out an upset in my mind. Hopefully was, we get uh, a third game where we ride from one to three with no trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Both people having to Jesus a second. Yeah. yeah. Well, first uh, first ride waterfall just does not help at all. But yeah, going back to Spike Brothers. So the thing that's nice about Royal Paladins is it's it's consistent and manages to plus even though it doesn't have counter charges. And the nice thing is that you have a soul saver turn. Mm-hmm. So it's a grade three force gift, soul blast five, choose up to sixty units, fifteen K damage. Each lane goes up by sixty thousand. How so, is how is OTT? That's the one deck I haven't seen play yet. OTT would far away be the strongest deck if Waterfall didn't stop set lanes. Because OTT is ultra consistent, it has great draw power, it has a good finishing turn with Victorious Deer, but Waterfall can wear OTT down. So the meta, at least in terms of the highest level that we've seen in Vanguard, is Kagura and OTT at the top, Kagura and Nova at the bottom. Okay. But OTT, I mean... What would you rank as the worst? Nova's? Nova's. Nova's the worst. Uh, It's kind of Nova's and Royal Paladin. And and, and it's not... So is it that big of a split, though? Like, it's just... Absolutely. absolutely. Kyro and OTT are just above So here's them. the reason. Kyro and OTT just far and above the position just because all every single card that they play feels good. Mm-hmm. Royal Paladins, they can't counter charge. So right. you basically, if, if you play it right, if you're playing Kagero, you get them to three to four damage, you immediately start starving them, attacking rears, and then just waterfall them until you hit them from four to six. Okay. So it's more like Royals are really bad if the opponent is really good. Otherwise, it's a very still a good consistent deck. Alex is going to start off first, starts Aramo, gets the draw, and that's a hate reflector. That's a grade one perfect guard. So, <laughs> off to a. Uh, I think Ben's running maybe two draw trigger perfect guards. Oh, and he doesn't even get the Berserk Dragon's effects. Swings. Gets yeah, a guy. Really gets a guy already, yeah. I mean, they just want to get into the grade threes. Um, but more of what I was talking about before with Royal Paladins, you get that 60,000 lane. So, if you think about the average lanes across the entire game, you know, you got these low lanes, and then you've got a high lane. Uh, Spike Brothers, decently high the entire game. Early game rush. High speed Bracky is 20,000 right out of the gate with you. Oh. So it's just, it's nasty. That's a lot. I played it, uh, I actually, before we started doing, we, before we started casting DA, I played against two Royal Paladin matchups. Easily beat them. Just because you just make 45,000 columns just when you hit grade three. You you can only. My, my biggest scare is Aqua Force in, in this Yeah. Meta. I don't know how they're going to do it. We have seen so, two cards so far. Mm-hmm. One is if it's a third battle or more, it gets a better boost. And then there's another grade two. It gets uh, it gets a uh, 3k boost if it's second battle or more. So it looks like they're just going to be order specific. However, they were both trial deck cards. So, you know, so gotta, trial decks gotta, don't mean way yeah, too much. we got to wait and see. Uh, he does start on Overlord this time. If I wouldn't know better, I think he's just going to do Gaius for the boost here, unless he wanted to do some quick and dirty damage, but I would probably just wait for Waterfall here. So he throws out the Dragon Armored Knight, gets the 5k, because he's got three or less rears. So he's assuming he'll get a restand here, because this is a 33,000. Oh, okay, 41,000. If he pulls any crits here, he's going to go for the Gaios, probably. Yeah. Just try and finish the game. Could you imagine? Oh. That quick. And he gets a crit. All wow. right, so he's going to do two damage right away. That is that is 43,002 damage right now. Oh, he gets a heal. All right. 
So hit the heal here. So he's going to counterblast, discard two. He's going to stand. If he uses Gaios, this is a 43,003 damage. If he doesn't, it's a 51,002 damage. All right, no, he just goes for it. He's going to wait for Waterfall. He's just going to draw out some guard right here. This is two damage, though. He could. Does he get the drive check as well again? He gets one more drive one check. One drive check. So you draw. He two, takes it. You draw. Okay. So two damage. All right. This is really, really bad. Oh no! You got another hit trigger. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you saved Gaia, so he can take him from three to six. Yeah. Possibly. Mm -hmm. He might just take out Boomerang Thrower because, well, if if Ben he, oh, he put it on rear, so. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, he put both on Vanguard so he could just attack at the rear. Well, you know, that's not... Okay. That's a misplay right there, because if you damage check twice and you got one rear guard left... Oh, and he didn't... And he put the crit power on his... And he put the power on his Vanguard, so... It is what it he is. He should have just spread out, the, spread out the effects there. He does get his gift down. Okay. He does we're have seeing, Max Grimmizer. We're a change of... Uh, a change of pace here. Okay. Gift going to be placed down. Grade two we did have a up. clean grade one to grade three at least. Yes, we did. High power. He, he does pick it up, actually. Oh, he puts high-powered uh, Razor on uh, the gift. Instead. That's Is that pretty... High it's high-powered customizer. customizer. I have to say, if you're, you you got to... I, I don't know if he runs Iron Killer in this deck, but he needs to. So, just like Cut Bull is a great two that gets plus 5k if you have a hero, mm -hmm. Iron Killer is if you have three or more rears, it's plus 5k. And we so, see Ben always playing down his hand, so... Oh, yeah, yeah and, and, and follow there. me on this one. If you throw it down an Excel circle, it's a 24,000. You can survive one damage check. Yep. That Excel right now survives one damage check. So he's guarding one with Miss Splendor. I would say him, he would if he has a 10k, he should throw it out for this. I mean, the key to this is if your opponent's just going to get front triggers, just guard early. Yeah. see the Vanguard go. And kind of High Power Customizer also has another effect. First check, second check. Is that a crit? That's a crit. Yeah, he is going to hit the crit. Don't run, the don't run crits, man. Even if that was nice. <laughs> Front triggers are way better because if one of those was a damage check, he immediately has to stop with Battle Axe. Immediately. So, but he did get a hit, so he gets the counter. So, What do front triggers do? Front triggers increase the attack of all of your units by 10,000. Oh. In the front. Wow. So a crit is 10k in a right. crit, but it's 10k on one unit. If you're restanding... A 10k on three units is better than a 10k in a crit on mm -hmm. one unit. But he's gonna guard this easily. He's already he's already going to waterfall. I mean he's he's going for the three to six here. Yeah. And this is gonna so be this spicy. This is this is forty three six. This is gonna be spicy. I would be surprised if Ben could still guard this. This is a thirty thousand for one pass. He has a lot of grade twos in his hand. Uh, you know, okay, so that's that is okay, that's thirty five. So still one, isn't it? Still one to pass. Oh, there right? we go. It's a none to pass. Three out another fifteen. So that's fifty. That is fifty. Sixty-two. He could actually do two to pass. That is a two to pass. We can hear him. Oh, it's a seventy-two. Never mind. <laughs> well, he does get the crit on rear. So. He does. So Ben did protect himself. Best he could do is punish him from three to five. And Ben will probably take that if he doesn't <laughs> want to give up extra rears. And Austin needs to be careful the next game. Oh yeah. <laughs> in in case anyone doesn't know, the one playing on the right's my twin, so that's also my name. But yeah, that's okay. So he actually so he guards that and he's throwing down some death armies. He's running entirely way too many death armies. Fifty percent of this is just, you know, making a build. I was about to say your name and I was like, wait, Alex. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I came out and I was like, awesome. Oh yeah. Play it off, play it off, play it off. It's okay, <laughs> I can't get shit with him. Okay, so he's throwing, he's throwing down Bruce, yeah. <laughs> so he actually has a Trans Riser on the Excel circle, so this is another reason why I don't like Trans Riser. Right now it's a 9k, so a 19k. If it restands and the opponent has four more damage, it's a 3k, 22k. One damage stops Yeah, that. that's not... In no way are the cards that he's throwing down better than Iron Killer or Cut Bowler. But... He's going to have to take one attack. He's hoping for the damage check. Does not get it. So this, this is going to be a little bit of a stressful final turn for him. If he can make it past this turn, though. Well, this I will be Ben's final wait. turn yeah. either way. Either way. Let's Going for that. Guarding. He's just going to have to guard everything. Alex has enough to guard. I feel like he does. This is an 18,000. So 18,000 Vanguard attack? That's it? 18,000, yeah, right? Yeah, so that's wow. the thing. Your Vanguard attacks are really... Oh, there's... 
He doesn't no, get no, the heel like because he, it's at three. Yeah, damage. okay. I was just I I can barely tell those colors apart. Right. On the uh, he does get the front trigger. That's a little stressful. I haven't been tracking his hand. He does have quite a bit of crits. He's maybe got at least one PG. Yeah. That's the thing about Trans Riser. Let's see this. So let's see. That's a front trigger. He that's a nineteen. Attacks with a gift. Yeah. It's a twenty-two. I believe it's a thirty-two. Mm, it might be too much. I actually think, yeah, I think it is so too much. So he's got two attacks he's have to left. Take a damage here. Let's see. See if he can top deck oh, the heal. No, no he, had, he seems he had, confident. He got some heals and crits. Okay, Boom. all right, perfect guard. Out all right. of hand though. He he Out angrily shook his hand. fist. So he he did get a front heal. And I, I honestly, so, I don't think it changes much for Alex's perspective because Ben did get so many cards that turn. Right. So what Alex is looking to do is he's looking to get another force trigger. He's looking to just so Ben has. About Three. I believe thirty five thousand guard in his hand. Yeah. So which makes forty seven. He he, he can already get, he can already get over. So that. he's trying to go for a double. Yeah. Essentially, last ditch effort. The only problem then here is, is PG, that though, I believe. If he PGs the first one, he's absolutely done. I don't believe Ben got a draw though. So this is going to be plus thirty plus forty thousand. This is no, but he got a draw two turns ago. Oh, yeah, if he hasn't used it yet, then he's still got I it. I don't think he did use it, but I could yeah. be wrong. I just we'll see I wasn't paying got. too much attention. He'll throw it down really fast if he's got yeah. it. Yeah, which I guess he doesn't because we're not seeing him. He's leaning back in agony. <laughs> so he's got three cards. Four. I don't think he spreaded the last oh, two. Okay, okay. It could be three, though. No, it's three. It's three. It's three. This is when he just pulls two crits. Yeah. We'll see. This is the final turn for both players. Do they oh, each have one more yeah. turn? I would, I would believe you so. You know, if he had top-decked Waterfall instead, this would be over. For sure. It'd yeah. be over. We'll see. Because the thing is, Ben needs to basically say, okay, I'm going to go. So that is a one, one pass. And he does not get it. And he draws a grade three, so no guard as there This as is well. completely over. Yeah, that's yep. going to be oh, it. Yeah, been... he's going to take the damage. And Nova that's going to be ben. round one going over to Ben with the Nova Grappler. Yeah, th you know, a lot of people consider this to be a complete counter matchup. Kagura should punish, but those two heals and the damage check and Nova's, that just shows you, oh, even, sure. even at the first best deck versus the worst deck, triggers can really turn it Yeah, right I mean... That's going to draw you, some you people to standard, some damage. people away. Yeah, I believe everybody will come around to standard, though. Yeah, absolutely. I would say on both sides, at least for Ben, I'd like to see more Iron Killers and Cup Bowlers, mm -hmm. and on... Alex's side, maybe maybe start Overlord instead of Waterfall. <laughs> maybe. Okay. Guys, that is going to close out round one. We will be back for round two. This is me and Klaus, and we will be back in a bit. See ya. Fucking bitches. Woo. That was good, dude. Yeah, that was good. Oh, I like it. I might have to leave, but... That's going to suck. I know. Actually, that's pretty nice.
my bag? Where's my bag?
I know, dude. We we are all set for Windows. If you're not ready, we'll check back again in an hour. All right, we'll wait till I'm We're good. We'll wait till they sit down. Okay. Let me check YouTube. Ah, round one win. Why would you type your own chat? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, we were uh, we were very pog champy over your uh, first win though, because <laughs> you fucking sent him from three to six. Dude, hell yeah. The game we three was close. All I knew was trigger. Did not get it, but that's all it is. Oh, both are there. Oh, it's a Nova Mirror match. Is it? Yeah. Disgusting. I didn't know we were ready. Let me have a few more skittles. So basically, what me and your brother did was he talked about game state and like what cards were being used and what they do, and I would ask questions about each player and what they should do in the situation. Alright. So essentially, I lead you up with questions, you answer what I'm talking about. Alright. Right. We'll do introductions, you can use real name, it doesn't really matter, they're all in the chat. Oh, okay. I will not, call me Splashy. Guys, welcome back to round two at Friday Night Vanguard. Um, I'm here with... Nem. And Splashy is still here, me, myself, and I. Uh, we're going into round two with a Nova versus Nova mirror match. Uh, do you have any thoughts on the matchup itself as a mirror? Um, well, Novas historically aren't really too good at like maintaining hand advantage. So basically, you're just going to have to just play super aggressive and uh, hope that the opponent doesn't get defensive triggers, basically. Yeah. Um, we well, see that uh, Ben is not running Iron Killers, I believe is the name of the card. Yeah, uh, he's running... Uh, uh, when I played him against round one, he was integrating the heroes in his deck, which is like uh, Miss Splendor, uh, Cup Bowler. Which what is your opinion on Miss Splendor? Um, the only problem was it was a really bad ride because it doesn't give you an Excel gift. Mm -hmm. However, um, it's still a decent rear guard because it can poke for a it can poke for a num it can poke for a number that's five k shield above the vanguard. So um, it forces them to commit a higher shield from their hand basically because mm -hmm. they can't intercept. So you're just like, all right, well, you'll have to use an intercept and another card for the Excel circle later. Interesting. It does seem like we're getting into play. Decks are being cut. Mulligans are happening. This will be... Did they decide who went first? Um, I did not see the dice roll, but I think we'll figure out. Going first. Draws right. a card. Able to ride fairly easily. Looks like he got, um, I think it's a uh, riser custom. That's the one that allows him to attack on the first turn. Uh, oh, wow. He doesn't, he doesn't get a drive check, but he gets to deal three damage. Ben does take that damage, does not guard against it. Yeah, it um, it decreases your hand advantage a little early, but it definitely allows you to uh, get ahead in damage because what's really important uh, when you're when you are playing when you're playing against Novas is mm -hmm. that you really do not want to be at a high damage when uh, they get their grade three perfect riser turn because it basically just makes it so that they. Um, they can't pull as many defensive triggers. So if you're already at four or five, it's just really difficult to withstand the five attacks. Interesting. We will see Ben fire back as well. Getting one damage down onto uh, Brooks. Uh, I, I believe he got a draw trigger there as well in his uh Oh, it's in, in it looks like uh looks like Justin is actually playing the hero variant as well. So, so the, it's a hero versus hero. Yeah, so the so the cool thing about well it's kind of, they include the hero as a sub engine. What's really cool about it is that it allows you you might get uh less attacks with less skills, but it allows your columns to be higher. So when I talked about defensive triggers being the bane of Novas, uh this kind of this kind of helps with that because it will be ten it'll be ten K above so that even if they get a defensive trigger like grade two like 19 to 9 to 19 that lane will still be able to exceed 19. interesting okay looks like uh uh justin wrote battle door give yeah. the slick girl will get his gift out does have that fourth column open right now yeah and i will say that just always going first and standard is just is just a huge plus because all your skills are online there's no generation break um 
you just really get to overwhelm your opponent pretty early. And um, if and since Ben is already at two damage, basically, if he has to take these attacks to try and preserve the cards in his hands, it'll take him to four or five damage, and that's just going to put him in a really bad spot next turn. Uh, if yeah, we saw him in the matchup with you numerous times, just in terrible situations, just yeah. lucking out with, uh, especially in the third game, uh, the double heal. <laughs> yeah, we were. Uh. Yeah, the uh, the Overlord turn didn't didn't uh, bode too well. It but was a great turn for you. Just the outcome of what he got was not ideal. It, it kind of made the whole turn pointless. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's when uh when you check like four triggers, mm -hmm. like you either stack like you know 30k on your vanguard or you get all the effects off so it, it's kind of it's the disadvantage of damaging your opponent so much at once but that's kind of just but it's it, the advantage is far outweigh the disadvantage yeah. i feel we'll see him attack here uh first check oh, like that was no second trigger. check yeah no trigger an attack with his gifted unit should be a 5k guard if i'm not mistaken um, it looks like, yeah, he's just going to take that he's one. He's going to take the, that one, putting that for But Burke's only at one damage. Yeah. And he, we're going pretty far into the game now. I mean, this will be, uh, Ben is already at grade three, correct? That is, uh, No, that's, that's a boomerang throw. That's oh, a is it, okay, so this is his first Oh, three see, turn. he rode Miss Splendor. What I told earlier, where he doesn't get an Excel gift, gift if he rides Miss Splendor. And also you saw, I think he had five cards in his hand before he rode. He committed his Vanguard another one. He only has three cards in his hand at this point. Yeah, see, five cards, no triggers were hit. Um, at four damage when you're guarding against an Excel circle, and with Battle Doors, um, I believe they have to call two more to uh, actually guard it. It's it's going to be a tough turn for Ben next turn, um, and especially if Justin hits a front, he should be able to cinch it. Hmm. Yeah, he's he's just Justin's yeah. just eagerly awaiting for his turn. He's ready. He he knows exactly what he has to do. He's gonna close this one out. I yeah. think this will be a quick game one. Yeah, the the lanes the lanes are weak, unfortunately, because um, to his jet riser in the back right, he gets uh, plus three k whenever a unit is called because he wasn't able to commit much from his hand. Uh, he only called one unit. That jet riser is only getting a plus three, and then cup bowler uh, gains plus. I believe five when you have another hero on the field, which he does with Miss Blender, mm -hmm. but that only hits a 19, 24 to his 12, and that's just a 15 and, guard. And that's that, just one card. That also matters. I mean, Justin could go for another uh, gift as well. And that's have another. I mean, I haven't seen anybody go past four yet, though, which shocks me a little bit. I, I saw all Nova games last week, and I've had now more Nova games, but I've never seen somebody go past the first gift with Nova. Generally, what's going to happen is because, like, when you're when you're rewriting... And we'll see, because he doesn't do it. Oh, oh he does. He's going to he go does. for the fifth gift. Or there the we fifth, go, sorry, the, the fifth, fifth row. Yeah, yeah fifth, no, it's fifth, fine. Uh, the fifth... The, well, so no, he's, there, yeah. I, can, I can say I've seen it now. There we go. Thank <laughs> you, Justin. Yeah, so he's um, just he's, right. just going to vomit his hand. I was going for it. Yeah, yeah dude, Justin running the Miss Splendor as well. It looks like he was able... Justin was able to get the threes he needed, and this is a full... That's Whole what your no. That's what your field wants to look like as a Nova player. I think that yeah. is it. That's yeah, yeah. the. A full, I, I, I don't field see against five cards for yeah. damage. I mean, even it, just the only ah. attacks alone, it would take one attack each. So like so card. what so what Justin was doing it was he was cut he was cutting and he does down. Say, his... Come on, so we'll go right into drive checks here. Yeah. No check, no ch no triggers on that. Uh, we'll and he got he got he a got heal a trigger. Heal. Uh, so base so basically he but it's five attacks against the yeah. twenty two. Well, it's more than five because he will restand. Well, five. Uh, sorry, one, two, three. Yeah, four attacks left against. The and he already attacked body. twice, correct, with both gifts because his vanguard allows him to restand. Doesn't that's it? Yeah. that's correct. So it'll be a seven attack. Yeah, think? and yeah. since he got since he got the on hit, he gets to counter charge mm -hmm. and give a unit plus five k. So at least he can have a little bit extra boost. All right, he goes to five. He got another trigger. Yeah. So now Miss Splendor is sitting at a thirty two k booty. Um, I think that will end the turn. Yeah. I don't think his rearguard can reach that. Yeah, no, we'll end the turn. Okay, So, fine. So Justin and, uh, is at but, two damage, but two cards in hand, and it's... Then we'd have to get rid of his whole field, though. Mm -hmm. He would have to start doing damage, but I don't think he has... He doesn't get the Excel circle, so yeah. he can only uh, get a maximum of three attacks, and so I know... I, no triggers hit? No. Historically, no. Nova Grappler's decks don't run crits, at least the top field do. I know Ben runs, I believe, three crits in his deck, so he'd have the chance to kind of sack out to get four, but if he didn't... Since he didn't get the proper ride, he can't get four attack. You can't, you can't push somebody from two to six, like, that easily. Looks like uh, Ben's just going to hey, for... the gift, yeah. Yeah, because uh, Ben wants his uh, intercept online. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter because Justin can just replace these cards. He has the cards in hand, too. That's, so, okay. that's, that's most likely why he's letting yeah. it go. He already knows. 
Yeah, at this point, there's really no need to write more. And the thing is, if, if, if since Ben wants to damage him a lot, like try to put a lot on him, oh. he, he has a, he has a, um, his perfect riser online again. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Miss Blender in the Excel circle. That's a, that's a killer right there. That's a uh, 25K, no interceptor. Did Justin played that down? Yeah, Justin played that down. Ooh, we. Yeah, this should be the game ending turn. Uh, I mean, unless Ben hits the heel again. I mean, he's been sacking his heels all night. So we'll see if he can make it through another turn. We do see one attack going through already. And Ben has, it looks like, six cards yeah, in Yeah, six his cards hand. in hand. It's still six cards, yeah. Six to seven attacks. Yeah. Is he ma he's mapping it out right now. And he can only he can only get one defensive trigger. So before the previous turn, he was able to pull two, put him at 32. Yeah, he, he concedes. Yep, that's going to be the game. Uh, Justin was really good at keeping his damage low. And, yeah. and also what really uh, hurt Ben is not not getting that ride. Um, so I'm, I, I well, he wrote, he's rode and splendid. I mean, yeah, he, against Blanchard, he keeps riding. Yeah, and I don't uh, know. Even at one point in your guys' last game, I believe it was, uh, I believe it was, who took game one? I, so I took game one and I he took game two. it was the game three. you took. It was game one. He had both in hand, mm -hmm. grade threes, and he decided to ride and splendid over, um, is it Zurich Kaiser is the other one he runs? Uh, perfect. So the, uh, his build runs uh, Perfect Riser, mm -hmm. um, Miss Splendor. Uh, I don't I don't think he run. I think he might run 4 and 4, which might What's be What's going on, Isaiah Shadow? What's up, man? Game 2. I, I, would, uh, I would be surprised here if uh, uh, Ben did not take the play in this. Mm -hmm. Like I said, going first is crucial. Um, I think he mentioned our match... Uh, the ups of maybe going second and standard, but I don't think there is any personally. Unless I could be wrong, but, you know, getting that first gift, though, real good. I mean, you could literally end the game with certain oh. decks off of the first gift. Yeah. Um, there has, it's it's mitigated a little bit because of the power increase in triggers. Like, that's definitely been, I think that's probably what sets um, G and premium different than standard, because, like, standard really, uh, St standard games don't really end that quick. You're you're gonna probably you're no, gonna probably hit a few. Here's, here's my thing with standard. I think it's a lot but it's a lot more fun to watch. Yeah. Rather than uh, premium. I just don't really find premium that entertaining anymore. Oh hey UG Strat, like, okay, cool, like awesome, have fun. I, I like but, like standard just seems Yeah like it's more fun. You I get to know. you get to do your plays and it was kinda like I like I like G as kind of a solved format and I like standard as a solved format, but I think the two just don't really mesh, mesh that well. Because they're not designing cards with premium in mind. Yeah. Otherwise not. we wouldn't have gotten the silent tom how it was mm -hmm. or a uh, phantom black ant lion combo where it's Are a, you allowed to take the standard cards and use them in premium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you that, are. Yeah, so that it's wow. premium. Premium is the entire card pool. So, like, if you take example of like, in and has anything come out that's like a big like staple um, over in premium or not really? Well, so one of the new dominating decks, obviously in standard it's OTT, but in premium it's an entirely different game where you have uh, you had Ikushima, which was a mainstay in all decks where it was uh, continuous. Your opponent can't. It was in a nutshell. Uh, opponent can't use uh, uh, zeros and G guards for the entire turn. And the new Tom prevents normal units. So you can't use zeros, normal units, or G guards. The only thing they can use, use to block that attack is intercept. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, and there's another one that just came out with Mega Colony, uh, where it's a Ant Lion and Phantom Black, which prevents Sentinels and normal units. You combine that with Zoa, where you give it 999. They need. They can only guard with grade zeros and intercepts to try and block for 90k, so it's kind of hard. Looks like uh, going back into the game, yeah. Ben is really... Uh, Ben's rushing this time. Yeah. He's out there. He's ready. He says, okay, you know what? Let's kick on the turbo boosters. Let's get this game going. But, I'm uh, just for everybody. <laughs> yeah, Ben did not did, did not check a trigger. Justin checked a damage trigger, so he has his front right unit. Didn't even get to attack. So, he, so if you commit four cards in your hand, especially two ones with 10k shields, to only do one damage to your opponent... Kind of opens you up a little bit. Yeah, because now your rear guards are the ones that's going to pay the cost, and you're gonna you're gonna get hit with units. Unless yeah. you're guarding those too. But I mean, so it looks like so it looks like Justin's going to take the approach where he's just filling up his front row and snipe his rear guards. Sniping mm -hmm. the rear guards is really good in this situation. Justin is doing it perfectly. Yep. Because if you just go straight for Vanguard, try and force the intercepts, then his can, rear guards are just going to come back next turn and be like, "What are you yeah. doing? Boom, and, you're gone." And 
he could have gotten a damage trigger, but yeah. instead he's just he's just clipping all of his use, useful cards so that when may, when he does ride first on the Excel circle, he's not going to have a very strong turn. Yeah. He did get that defensive trigger, which you know mitigated one attack from Justin, but his turn's over already. But ultimately, okay, there we go, perfectly fine. Then got there the we go. Ride. Now he is now he is riding into that. He will hit the gift. And place that over it. Okay. Um, but if I am seeing correctly, it does no, not look like there is another hero on the field to no, actually take advantage risers. of. Yeah, to take yeah. advantage of a cup bowler. So it looks like that's just going to be a 19k, which is okay. It's so which is, especially at this stage, it's perfectly fine with the grade two over there. It's 100 percent okay. Yeah, you can intercept with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't need the setup right away. We'll see. Justin only had two damage. Uh, uh, did he? Is he saying he's going for the jet riser? Yeah, he's going for the jet riser. So that's pretty good by Ben because. Justin has an empty field right now, so he can just move that jet riser back, call four units, and that jet riser gets. Well, Ben was able to sustain his field, even though uh, even though Justin got, did get rid of most of his field. Yeah. he was able to refund it and get it back out there and go into an aggressive manner once again. No not trigger, no trigger, trigger. Trigger. Not no trigger, trigger either. Over there as hit well. a battle door. Yeah, I uh, Justin. Uh, the major difference, and I think the reason why Ben keeps riding into Miss Splendor, because I I want to say his deck seems like a four four split between. Um, Miss Splendor and Perfect Riser, where it looks like Justin runs Battle Door Fighter in addition to Perfect Riser and Miss Splendor. So it increases your chance of getting a cell gift. Once again, Justin not getting the damage trigger. Um, wait and see if he decides to uh, or not. His hand's uh, looking pretty decent, but the problem is it's he's at four damage and Justin hasn't even ridden three yet. Um, yeah, he's going to go straight to five damage. So if Justin can't clinch it this turn, uh, he is going to be in serious trouble. He, yeah. either, he either has to play conservatively or uh, just go all out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> I mean, I mm, that's a weird situation to be in. He's He's got the perfect The game turned up guys. literally in a notch. Like, yeah. He was just I insane. Ben took a page out of what Justin was doing last game and decided just, hey, here's my field. You know, I'm taking everything I can get. <laughs> It looked like he was able to rebuild it a bit, though, with high-powered riser mm -hmm. custom, which allows you to call the battle, uh, the battle riser. And oh, he's got battle door on the Excel circle. Battle door is definitely one of the best to put on there because of the um, because it's not like a guard restrict; it's a guard condition. Um, I would have to double check that, but I believe your opponent has if if your opponent places only one guardian, it goes through. Really? Uh, um, I believe it's the same as Fidesz. I will double check that. But That's fine. Get on that. We'll discuss the play state. Okay, rear guards are going to be taken out from Justin's end right now. Uh, not really able to find too much damage, but we will see the rear guard attacking the uh, gifted rear guard as well. Ben going to take that out. Um, Justin going to attack with his uh, vanguard now. Needs to go for it. Nope. Going to vary over to the gift one. Take that. What's he doing exactly? So one interesting thing that Justin can do okay, here, he will is swing at the vanguard. One interesting thing he can ben do takes here the is damage. Oh, yeah, I'm about to say yeah. Will. And uh, another <laughs> defense trigger. Wow. Evident. Yeah, okay, so uh, he must call two or more at the same time. So um, so that it's really so good. So the Vanguard to will uh, restand two other or Is it two or three get restood? It, so it's two get restood, um, but um, I believe Burst Riser has a skill that allows it to uh, uh, hand as well. And we'll see if he decides to defend this. I, if I'm Ben, I take the damage here. I don't even mind defending. Uh, I, I mean, and you know, Justin's I, at five. I, and I hadn't even checked yet if uh, Justin's build runs any crit. So if if, if Ben It'll knows be ben that drawing he, for the turn, if Ben knows he's fighting a more standard build, he knows that each damage equals one. Yeah, there's no there's no chancing it. It just equals one. That'll so, be uh, placed on the gift again. So, just so, oh no! So, Justin did something really easy, really interesting that Ben was able to counter. Perfect risers restand two costs two counter blasts. Mm -hmm. So, Justin stalled him at keeping one face up damage. However, boomerang thrower, when called, uh, if you have uh, one or less face up damage, counter charge. So, wow. That's and good. it has a soul charging effect as well, I believe. But basically, yeah, he that, did do that. Yeah, that, he did. that will allow Ben to have the resources he needs. I believe it's soul charge one, counter blast one. Is yeah, that, is that what? Or not counter blast, uh, counter soul, charge. Yeah. Sorry. So I believe that, and yeah, Ben Ben's gonna need to go out on this one. Yeah, he's just sitting there, hands folded. Probably, probably gonna take it. it basically, if he gets a sixth 
damage right here. He's at a 22k, and it it could be good because uh, Ben doesn't have the high-powered hero. Oh, it looks like he's going to try and defend out this turn. Or at least... I think he should be able to, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I can't accurately tell the number of cards. It looks like four cards in hand. I do see a three. If he has a Sentinel... Yeah, he's got a Sentinel, a grade three... Okay, so he he's, says he's saying two to one. pass. I think Did he say one? one? Oh, oh he he's able to make it through. Well done. One Great of the disadvantages call. of Nova is your Vanguard uh, actually. Does being he have enough to defend well. the rest, though? Was he just bluffing out the. <sighs> he has to get rid of his whole field. I don't even know if. Uh, man. Well, so Ben has three cards in his hand right now. He yeah. drive check two 5K shields. He's. Oh, Justin has plenty of cards in his hand still. Wow. Oh, wait. It looks like. Oh, it looks like they were talking about numbers real quick. Oh yeah, it looked like uh, it, it looked like uh, Justin thought it was five um, k. Uh, his attack was five k less. Okay. Than it was maybe, okay. Perhaps maybe he didn't take into advantage Jet Rise's boost, but yeah, it looks like he uh, wasn't able to edge it out by five k shield. I gotta make a really important phone call real quick. So yeah, go ahead. Yeah, close one here. It looks like it's going to be uh, Ben's win on that one. Yeah, and so since uh, Justin lost that one, he's going to have momentum going into grade game three. Um, we'll see what he does with it. Definitely, because both players ride Miss Splendor, it's going to be pretty important to get your Excel gift to get the multiple attacks off. Uh, digging for your perfect riser is going to be really important. Yeah, unless he decides to go second. I don't know. Looks like I'm uh, solo casting for a little bit. Splashy will be right back. Maybe he's uh, talking about all the defensive triggers that he's been getting. But hey, all right, cool. Decks are in place, and we're going into game three. Let's hope for a uh, good, clean game. No G assists. Everybody gets the rise they want. Ben's dropping two. It looks like he got all the grades he wants then if he's dropping two. Justin deliberating all he wants to do as well. Oh, he's sending three back. Er, yeah, he's sending three back. Let's see if he gets what he needs. All right, I did see Perfect Riser in Justin's hands, so it looks like we're not going to get a mishap with Miss Splendors before. There we go. I was waiting for him to cut. I did not know if he had done that or not. All right, Justin's going to take the play. He will not get that... Uh, First turn attack off, but that's okay. Um, kind of opens up your hand to be a little weak anyway. It looks like he... Oh, interesting deck choice. It looks like Ben runs the grade one PG. Uh, normally, the uh, draw PGs, the grade zeros, are more commonplace seen, but, you know, in this case, it seems to work very well when your grade one options are few and far between. Welcome back. Thank you. So we're in the game three here, tied one to one on both sides. Yeah. Justin did not get the first attack off, so he's able to just maintain his hand size mm -hmm. and just play a little slower. It looks like, so Ben committed his uh, Death Army guy, so I think uh, Justin's just probably going to, yeah, he's just going to snipe his rears. Oh, he's taking the Vanguard to the rear. Good Ben. Smart move. Mm-hmm, Definitely. Oh, just took the trigger and has to pass. Yep. What's really nice about getting rid of those death army guys is that a lot of the gray twos are nine k. So if you leave those on the field, they are just gonna keep attacking for magic numbers against the grade one and the grade two turn. Yep. So this is what happens when you counter rush with rush. They attack your rear guards. You fill up the field. They get your <laughs> cards. Endless cycle. And it's a vicious cycle. It really is. Until one person runs out of cards in their hand. Did Justin go first? 
I'm assuming so. Uh, Justin get, get, did go first, but he did not get the uh, turn zero attack with Riser Custom, so. But he did ride a good one, correct? Yeah. Okay. All right. Correct ride here. We got the Excel gift, gift going. coming out immediately. Tom Lee showing his face for everyone to see. Kamui was my favorite character back in the day as well, when I first started playing. They brought, they brought him back. Yeah, I know. New <laughs> season. Where you guys can watch on Crunchyroll.com. Wow. Wow. Sponsored. <laughs> Five grand. I remember uh, who got mad at me because I mentioned sponsored by Pizza Hut on stream. Did he? Yeah. Why do you know? <laughs> <laughs> we can get monetized for that. And I'm just like. Guys, this is not oh, a sponsored video. Oh, uh, yeah. Not at spo all. Not sponsored not by sponsored Pizza Not sponsored by anybody. I'd like some free pizza. Except me. Sponsored by me. Hey, I'm Splashy. That's the brand name. I'm not Splashy. He's Splashy. I'm Splashy. Yeah, exactly. I'm Dre. You're Dre? Dry. Dry? Dry. Is that what you go by? No. Oh. It's your Splashy or what? Oh. Dry. You're Dry. <laughs> <laughs> he, it looks like he's going to get a... We apologize for that uh, <laughs> commercial break, guys. Oh, did he get... He got another trigger. He did. Oh. Ben has pulled right there. triggers on uh, the last five drive checks, actually. Draw, uh, damage checks. If you're keeping track from last game, it's five in a row now. Ooh. How does he do it, ladies and gentlemen? Psychwalia. Ah. Uh-oh. Yep. Our psychic powers cheated. Did they bring Psychwalia back in the new series? It, it will be, yes. And, and why? Uh, Because that's how... So they're going off the manga plot now. Oh, are they? Like, yeah. completely? They're following Um, it. Yeah, completely, but the matches are going to be a little different. They added a little different stuff, like, for example, the stuff with, like, Team Handsome. They added Leon, the Aqua Force dude, uh, as, like, just a member of the team, and to sell more cards, you know? He, but at least, at least, uh, at, he, he's just a kid from Hong Kong. He's not, like, the the last of a lost Soryu tribe. And <laughs> Yeah. <I love> it. <laughs> I just want the three great nature kids to come back. Oh, I can't wait for great nature, really. <laughs> They're going to be Protect, though, but that's okay. I like it. Protect OP. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Except for Med Colony. Sorry, yeah. man. Mm. Med Colony is the worst out of the three. R.I.P. Bugs. R.I.P. Yeah, we, uh, our, our, our team has just started uh, doing the proxying for the new uh, stuff in Destructive Roar. And it is, uh, so he does heal, yeah. but, but okay. He will. He will heal and give the 5k to his Vanguard. If not take damage. Ben's sitting at 2 damage. Justin at 3 should be looking for more damage here. Able to guard that as well. We'll move into Justin's turn. Uh, maybe wanting to ride another grade three, getting a secondary gift out there as soon as possible. If he's got the if he's got the hand supported, I say go for it. Yeah, he, 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 needs to push he has the grade down. three right there. Uh, it's just it, it's risky. There we go. Yep, there yep. we go. Yep. There will be the second gift coming out. That'll be the fifth rear guard circle. So what I would think is that uh, Ben's got low damage right now, mm -hmm. and he's got two nine Ks on board right now. He needs to he needs to thin he needs to thin Ben's ranks. If you take the chance that he doesn't have useful rear guards in his hand, but a lot of shields, he can make his turn next turn really lackluster if he gets rid of those cup bowlers. Just deciding what to do here. Tippity tap tap tap. Ah, oh, there we go. He's looking at a card that he runs in the deck. Yep, that he's thin in his ranks. Thin in his ranks. Yep. Because <laughs> he knows he'll be the able to The cycle continues anyway. throughout the whole entire game. Yep. It's just, hey, you attack mine, I attack yours. Let's go. Let's do it. Ah, uh, restanding those two. So here we go. So this is going to be a 12k. If Ben decides to take this, um, he will be able to counter charge, making Justin easier to go on. Oh, he will take there. another. Should I? No damage no triggered. No damage triggered. The, the cycle has ended on that. Uh, plus 5k to. Uh, I forget. That's the grade one hero, but I forget his name. He's going to keep taking damage. No trigger there either. And such an important turn. Oh, heal trigger. I was about to say he pushed him from two to five. Oh my god. No, heal trigger. No, he pushed him from two. Okay, no. no another heal wow. trigger. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. Wow. So that allows him to conserve his hand and have enough guard for next turn. And have face up counter blasts for perfect riser. Wow. So now Justin, he's sitting at uh if I'm seeing this correctly, three damage. Justin's in an alright spot. He's in an okay spot. But Ben being able to preserve his hand is pretty big. How many cards does Justin have in his hand? Do we know? Five, five. it looks like. Four or five. 
if Justin can get defensive triggers on his own, Four. it's it's uh it'd be good for him. It'd be really, really, really good for him. Oh, and uh, he called a uh, he called a PG on the Excel circle. That is a 15k. That's a 15k PG attacking the Vanguard. Whew. Yeah, it looks like these are these tiny peanut attacks. Battle door fighter. Oof. Talked about that. Uh, putting two more at the same time. He's just gonna have to take that to probably conserve cards in his hand. Yeah, for sure. But then he'll also restand it, which is right. -ish. Yep. That's that's tough. It's tough. And I know Ben runs Chris, so basically he's just gonna he's just gonna have to hope Ben doesn't get crits. Yep. <laughs> I mean, wow. That that PG on the. Uh, <laughs> that PG on the Excel circle has me bugging. I love that. Yeah, he's he's checking his uh, he's checking his uh, triggers. He's just like, hey, look at all those heal triggers. I got. Game three coming down to the wire right now. Justin's really got to hope that he can guard these other attacks. Yeah, because Baldorf is a no. That's a no. Mm -mm, Don't. Yeah. He, but but then he has to guard the Vanguard attack as well. If he gets a defensive trigger on his fifth one, that would that would be that would be. He huge. has to take those damage. He has uh, to take the Vanguard damage. Yeah, because you can't overguard. You can't overguard with this one for such a small hand because they're just gonna get the power to rear. Mm -hmm. um, he really should just take it. I think. I think he's just yep. sort of playing. It. Yep. One. Okay, front trigger. That's huge. And so if, if Justin can equalize this trigger, let's let's hope he can. Let's hope he can do it. He gets it. He gets a. He gets that's a, a heal trigger. Oh, that man. is gonna put him. Wow. That's incredible. So he can take Good the. He him. can take the battle door, and mm -hmm. or okay, he well, decided to take one. No, he shouldn't have done that though. Well, maybe he doesn't have enough total. So that is a. So that's a fifteen twenty five k to his twenty two k. He can enter. That is a grade. No, it's a grade one, I believe. Yeah. Mm. Let's see if he can guard the battle door. If it's going to back door him. Um, is there a condition to battle door? Let's double check that real quick. Perhaps it requires another hero. And 10. He does make it past the turn, and Justin will get one more shot. Once per turn. Oh, it was a once per turn. Oh, interesting. So he just put the power on it just to get the uh, number. So I'm saving the PG for that. All right, Rhino. Oh, he gets a. He responds with a battle door of his own. So now uh, Ben being pushed to four damage. So, you know, he can't get another defensive trigger, right? Nope. There's no way. Nope, he does not get it. Uh, ben is in a very precarious spot at the moment. Let's see if he decides to trigger Battle Door or not. It looks like he is not paying the cost, so it looks like he's going to save it. So Ben is able to block that with only one card. Yeah, but Justin hanging on to it as probably the last attack of this turn, mm -hmm. trying to hope that he cannot guard it. Yeah, and this and this Miss Blender is uh, pretty big because he can't use his two at the uh, his right to uh, intercept with that. And it's on an Excel Circle, so... What a game! That'll yeah. This has actually been a really good game. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's standard for you. I, I'm. That's what I like about standard, though. I see more good games, like mm -hmm. in in premium and everything. Sometimes you just see washes. You're just like of wow. Like good, of two good players, like if I see you versus your brother, for example, pretty good players, pretty much like I'd say easily top three around here, top five if you if anybody wants to make that a debate, whatever the. Right my on. opinion, top three, both of you, easy. <laughs> um, but if I saw you two play. There's been times where you guys play each other, and it could be a wash. Not yeah. because of skill, but because premium, like premium, just so out of hand. Balaam Sandsack, and or he'll just chaos lock five. Yeah, or like it's like not. It, it, like, it's it's just over the top. <laughs> it's like they've added so many abilities that it's like, oh, that's a thing. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but then looks, standard, it returns to the true core of like Vanguard. Yeah, like you see good matchups, you see good games, and. You know, that's when we're Ben laid out all his damage triggers, and then, you know, it looks like Justin's just going to wrap up that game all neat in a bow. There's going to be it. Did we miss the ending? 
<laughs> I, I mean, you know, it was kind of, we just kind of We do, yeah, we did know. Uh, so Justin's going to walk away with that. Excellent, yeah. That, At the end of round two, that's going to be it, guys. We'll be back with round three in about 10, 15 minutes. Um, I'm Splashy. This is Nem. And we'll see you guys in like just a bit. Get some snacks, get some popcorn, tell your mom to come watch too. Tell your Thanks. dad. Anyway. I like it. Cool. I don't need that often, so. No, it's good, dude. <sighs> I hate casting bad films. You hate what? Casting bad films. Uh, I just need to make sure that I'm not bleeding over to the color and to stick to the information. I'll put it here.
When I, yeah, no, when one of my buddies owed me like three hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, so he and just he was like he was taking forever to pay it in cash, and he was like, "Well, I have a credit card. Is there anything you really want?" And I was like, "Yeah, just go buy me a Nintendo Switch and Mario Mario Power Tennis." And he was like, "Are you sure?" I was like, "Yeah, just go do that." And he was like, "Okay, I'll bring it to you uh, tomorrow." Came over with it, and I was like, "Nice." Yeah, so I got it. Those are really nice looking, really really nice looking. Here, would you please let me clean this? It's really fucking annoying. He wants me to do everything, bro. Dude, you're paying me twenty fucking dollars. Fuck out of here. You just don't want to tell Tony that he's doing a shit job, so I'm gonna just fuck up the camera. Uh, Hello. Oh, hi. Cam camera's it? fucked up. Uh, do you mind helping with that, please? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it looks decent now. Um, That's reasonable. Yeah, I think he, I think we're just going to have to ask them to... Uh, we're just gonna have to ask him to. I'll just move Joe. Uh, oh yeah. Oh well, actually, move them both down a little bit so we can see their damage. Oh, uh, that's acceptable. I like it. Oh fuck! I was gonna give you the. Um, give me one second. No, that's fine. If you don't, if you can't play right now. Oh no! Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be casting this with uh, uh, Mr. Uh, John, if he feels so inclined. Now, I don't know if there's some uh, big injustice going on outside or something. Yeah, that looks very sick. very very sick. Yeah. See, why would you get the red one when it's just like white and white? Yep. You know, it's cool. I I think aesthetic is very important. I like. It. And then you got to have the trial deck undo. I think so. Who's wait? Who's playing? Yeah. Well, I I think we're just gonna go ahead and uh, not cast. No. I, oh, I like that. Who is so freaking stupid? Looks like they're getting underway. Who's who's the other person He's playing still Justin? Muted. Who's the other person playing? Justin? Oh, is it Greg? It's Greg. Well. So. I was like, dude, did you advertise this stream? You know, like on Facebook or whatever. Yeah. YYG. He goes, no, that's not my job. I go, whose is it? He goes, yours. I was like, boo, I'm not an admin of any of your pages. I can't advertise. Right. What? He goes, oh, well, then you need to talk to Tony. I was like, why don't you just tell Tony? He's like, oh, well, we've been working on it. Boo, this is a two-minute thing. You literally copy, you paste, uh -huh. and you hit enter. He's like, oh, well, we're working on it. We're all piled up with things. So do we not need it to... It takes two minutes, though. So do we not need to cast the last game? Because no, we do. All right. It's just, who, who wants me to do all of this shit for 20 fucking dollars? You can suck my dick. Let's go ahead and get And we game. are, welcome back to Friday Night Vanguard at Yeti. We are here in round three. Hey, we have, that's a professional. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> We're here with round three. We have uh, Brooks facing, um, I believe that is... Uh, Gregory. Yeah, it's Gregory. Um, what is he? Is that He's Royals? playing Royal Paladins. Yeah. Royal Paladins versus Novas. We're getting in Justin Optin to go first, I think. Yeah, yeah he's he's got the... Uh, is he doing the high power thing? Uh, yeah, he, he's... Yeah. Yeah, he's got the uh, for, quick attack up there, so... It's a fun skill. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, a really weird is. skill. It's a fun skill. Whenever they did I'm it, I was like, it exists. It's I do, too. Good. I'm glad it is exists. Is that the only clan that has it? Yeah. Is the Novus? Okay. Oh, we have someone new with us? Hi. What? Hi. What? Hi. Introduce yourself. Quell. Uh-huh. How's the cycling been? Okay. The man of n- many names, which is the same spelling, but a bunch of different pronunciations. Diesel. Well, hell with <laughs> uh, the, 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 block it early. You know that that that's okay because yeah. Royal Paladins hit for a lot higher numbers later, so that's decent. Oh. Wait, does Alan work on Vanguard? Uh, he he called another Alan. He used it on Rear. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. That's kind of cool. You can start getting those pluses for doing that early damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Royal, Royals are super counter blast heavy. Super. So the more you damage, the more you damage Royals, the more they're able to go off during the early game. Because all you can do, you give them two, three damage, you can call double Akai Pongol, get the Blaster Blade Circle, have extra damage. Let's see if uh, he decides to fill up his field. It looks like uh, he's going to use Marin. And... I mean, other than hand, can the Novas really punish? Um... Uh, well, so it's hard for Novas to punish against Force because of Force's uh, high base stat, right. the 13k. Right. Um, eh, it's kind of difficult because Novas can't really take advantage of the counter blast in the way that uh, Royals can. All you, all, all that really matters for Novas is having the two counter blasts open for Perfect Riser. Yeah. Did he get a crit? I think he, he crit him. Up oh, front, oh, that's three damage. Oh, that's but that's a double front though. But pushing to the four is huge. It's got a twenty nine k buff though. I'd rather deal with that early. Uh, well, so the, well now, so like, let's say you get into the soul saver turn, like you get plus fifteen k to everything. Like you can't just easily take one damage attacks and then you're already at four. Right. Hi, Justin's face. <laughs> Hello. Like, but if they're gonna hit triggers, they're really dead. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. You're you're talking from fighting against it, right? You're talking about that perspective. Yeah, like if yeah. I was in Elder's position, I'd be pretty happy with that. Uh, oh yeah, no, I'd be very happy about doing three damage with one. Yeah, like if yeah. I was in Elder's position, and then seeing the triggers at the other side. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, no, I'd be very happy about doing oh. three damage with one. Yeah, like if I was in Elder's position, and then seeing the triggers at the other side. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, no, I'd be very happy about doing three damage with one. There's no Yeti. It's just a uh, Yeti mic. Yeah. It's just a silly laptop. How does it like it? You guys don't like the light? Uh, I mean, I didn't choose the setting. Yeah. It's me and Quill now. Hello. Hello. Brian is perfect riser. Um, he's got a lot of counter blasts open to take advantage of it, but this is more just kind of the standard play rather than being able to do extra. Obviously, uh... There's no Yeti. It's just a uh, Yeti mic. It it's looks like if, uh... It's just a silly... He's gonna have to intercept with Jaron now if he actually wants to uh, use I it. Mean, We've got another hero on board, so that cup holder is 14k. Nice. He's sending out the rear guards. He's just he's hoping he doesn't want to take advantage of it, but it's more just kind of the standard he's play. He's going to have three cards in hand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's because he committed a lot to the board, and he didn't get the Akane. Uh, uh, he didn't get the uh, Akane combo off, so he has to commit a lot more from his hand to actually pull off Blaster Blade, like, basically. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Gregory pulling out the blast. Because if you have four or more, he gains a crit. If you don't get the counter blast, counter blast plus skills, you have to put a lot more on board. It's actually like... And Justin's only got three cards in hand. Yeah. Unless he had a draw trigger that I missed. But. He, he, he's in a tough position right now, for sure. Um, yeah, Gregory's sitting uh, pretty right now. Yeah, he's just gonna he's just going to take that. He's like, thank you for the free counter blast. Honestly, that was Justin. I might have not even attacked. Yeah. I'm like, I'm you gotta learn. You gotta know how to say that these days. Yeah. They're just going. Yeah, it's not. Oh, the it. Alfred early coming out. Um, that's usually a spicy uh, one tech of, um, because it's not as consistent, but you usually don't want to see Soul Saver as your first anyway. So. All you want is King of Knights. Yeah, King of Knights first is really good. Ah, there we go. That's that's good. So what's kind of cool about like a lot of like the. Uh, 
new clans coming out is even if there are three different categories, the things that they want to do with their force markers are very different. Yeah. Like Kagro, you want to see a ton of yeah, Royals, you always want to put it on rear, so it's kind of like yeah, rear and then Vanguard because it makes your uh, uh, King of Knights first ride pretty strong. Yeah, King of Knights on, on ride is essentially here's two force markers. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's, it's a little nutty. Even if you don't put the force marker on your Vanguard, it's a plus 10k. You're, you're already swinging for 23. You right, know? yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you ride them and then you get two force markers for a counter blast. Yeah, yeah. And an attacker. So. King of Knights was underwhelming when he was released, but. I, I think. He's, pro- he's fine. I think probably Gregory's going to push through here. It's it's looking very bad. Um, yeah, because I don't think he hit any draws. I don't think he's his hand has much in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's probably going to no guard this. Or oh, it looks like he's going to go for a one. Oh, he didn't get it. Yeah. He might have just enough that they were yeah. all triggers. Oh, he gets a he gets a front trigger right there going to five damage. That's that's gonna help a lot. He's probably gonna survive. I wonder if it was right to put the force on Van. No, he put uh, he put the force on rear. It's under Akane. I know, I wonder if it was right. Um, I don't think so because like they're just gonna they're just gonna PG the main guard attack pretty much. He's got three like, he PGs, he's got one. Yeah, but what if he doesn't get a crit? Basically, you PG that. It's like you take one and then no, you have to one card the weakest attack. Yeah, King of Knights first. Is yeah, really it's still tough no matter how you slice yeah, it. With I mean, the last blade was swinging for twenty six. Akane twenty one. How much? How much power does Alfred really give so Blaster Blade? Five. Cool. Okay. So actually, it's ten. Nineteen, yeah, twenty-seven. That's a twenty. That's four yeah, twenty. I, I think it may have been right because I want. I don't think he had a perfect, so maybe it wasn't. But that's what I'm saying. Uh, you ride him and then you get two force markers for counter. I don't know. Yeah, Justin, yeah, I think yeah. you no guard that. The yeah. Greg, Gregory can't read, which is a tactical uh, misplay on his part, not learning English before uh, playing this game. It's, it's looking very bad. Um, yeah, the biggest hit he draws. What a baka guy, Gene. Oh, it looks like he's going to go for a <laughs> Approach your opponent with English guard. Oh, he didn't get it. In their head. Yeah. Is this a go format? He might have just enough that they were all yeah, triggers. Um, uh, uh, oh, he, I think gets, uh, he gets a front trigger right there going to five damage. That's, that's going to help. I think he definitely wants to have Battle Door and Excel. That's, uh, for, that's for damn sure. Because, uh... He re didn't he? Um, He's got two Excel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. re But he's still missing an extra. Now, I did, now I did ask uh, Justin about his build um, before this round, and... Uh, I wonder if it was right. Was correct. It was... Uh, his grade threes were three perfect, no, he put, uh, three he battle put doors, two missed splendors, so you can still maximize the um, amount of uh, good rides because, with like, still being able to get missed splendor. He does not run any critical triggers, so you know that all are going to be um, this card's doing a little shake. They know they're all going to be hitting for one damage. So whether or not Gregory knows that or not, we'll have to see. I think it's you should go into every Nova matchup thinking there's no crits. Honestly, side. I agree. Yeah, what a change from the old. Mm-hmm. Well, fronts are just nutty. Mm-hmm. Fronts are good. Mm-hmm. I I was playing a. Uh, they give ten Ks to all front row units, yeah, so it includes, it includes the one of the Excelsior. Right. right. So right now, one front trigger gives forty K. Yeah, it's worth more shit. Yeah. Uh, I was playing uh, Hachi and figuring out like what's the best trigger ratio. Currently, we're trying. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. Well, they, you got a you got a uh, free damage skill on Ravenous Dragon Mega That's X, true. But it's really hard to pull off. Like it's actually like pretty. You pretty don't, don't put all your eggs in that basket. It, you want to retire your stuff so that you can uh, grab the uh, arm and gauge cards with your skills. So. Uh, it's, 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 I just know that. Yeah, you're right. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, Toxie was kind of like the secret OP back when it first came out too. I mean, uh, there was a few people playing it, you remember. Yeah, when it first I've, came out, there yeah. were a lot of people that were actually doing pretty well. Like Matt? Well like Barry? Yeah, Matt yeah. Barry was doing it. Oh, we were actually playing a like, decent Tachikaze as well back then. Well, I mean, like, just Tyrant Deathrex, like, back when it was just set 1, 2, and 6 in I English, think Tyrant Deathrex said, well, like, sure. had the skill gain 5k, which was a big deal back then. Yeah. Yeah. Like, power breakers were huge. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Vanilla's were. 
yeah. with everybody like, ran yeah, standard, who, like yeah, who spray two vanilla, boom. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. I did. Now I did ask. Uh, oh, it was, it was literally cool. just a game of power. Uh, yeah. yeah, when you're when you're yeah, and, the, and this and limit breaks came out. And it was when, like, you're, well, what, what, when you're backed up against the wall with uh, five damage and uh, you get soul saver off, that's just a uh, you got a full field. It's thirty k to each column, and it just Gregory's just gonna clean up game one think, quite nicely. I think that was possible because Dustin's going. You know. You think? Oh, you think because he gave him the extra damage? Yeah, it was like, one. and then turn one, you can Allen. Yeah. And then it just goes from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and plus a, it puts him a card behind. That's a very good point. Yeah, it because that goes to show that just because the skill is cool, you shouldn't do it <laughs> all the time. This is my tech card. Uh, yeah, I mean it's a cool skill. I'm glad they printed it. Mm-hmm. It can be a cool card and, and a bad card. And, and I can I can definitely see the value of making the cap to your opponent five damage rather than six. But you know, one heal triggers are a thing, and two, counter blast heavy decks like Royals are a thing. Yeah. And they're just like I know even when you know in all Royal Paladin they're in like Sand Guard, they're just like please please damage. That all are gonna it's almost like damage starving them. Gregory was the counter play. Yeah. I was playing. Uh, so you're gonna go uh, game two once again. It would be ridiculous not to uh, choose first. So. Right. So right now, one front trigger gives forty k. Excuse you. Oh, did he keep? Dang, Justin read you four. He did not like his hand. Ow. I only saw him miss blunder. Close for three. Oh no. You don't want that at all. Oh no. Not until later. Yeah, it's once you're done. Well, they, you got it. You got a. Uh, but it's really hard to do that. Like, well, it's I don't know if I agree, like, what they decided to put measure, I guess, on. It, you want like, to retire printed. your stuff so that you like, can grab uh, uh, the engage cards. Uh, OTT gets three viable grade threes, but. You get maximum riser. Nova's Nova's can't different. Nova's can't tech without punishing themselves. Whereas OTT goes, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna run ten grade threes. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny that, it, that you have the triangle with like, because you already always know in a game like something that surface is top tier, despite like the rock paper scissors thing that we're trying to promote. Yeah. Because it's like OTT just ended well, up I mean, being too broke. Like, the game feels pretty balanced. Just as it, it does. It, it, it feels. It feels. I don't want to say that it's a coin flip every every game, but the they just feel balanced. Like nothing feels overly strong. I want. I want. I will say like OTTs. OTT is probably like the most dominant. Even though I saw that Kagero has a bit more representation. I think OTT just can do the most things right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like just they can. They have more to do in their turn. Drawing and scrying is. Yeah. So, but what can OTT do that other things? Um, they can check the top card for trigger and manipulate it. So and then go back to the old days of OTT and start stacking your deck around it. Yeah, pretty... Through the, through the yeah. Right, and they've got a uh, CEO as a good rear guard. Every time you can, every time you search or confirm the top card of your deck, like if you look at any content in your deck, it you gets plus five. Just making sure Alan doesn't even call. It was literally just a game of power. Uh, no, I don't think so. Pretty sure not. I know he's similar yeah, no. to Marion, but I don't know how similar to Marion he is. Um... Uh, Nah, it's a, it's a, it's one, call a unit from your hand. Yeah, when you're, when you're, yeah, 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 yeah. Limit breaks came out. Like, when, when you're backed up against the wall with, uh, five damage and, uh, you get soul saver off, that's just, uh, you've got a full field, it's 30k to each column, and it just triggers just gonna clean up game. Oh, you think, yeah, and that's just, uh, yeah, it looks like he's just gonna go for the, uh, two crit thing again. It's just, just good. It just, you get two damage still on still five cards in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. uh, is he going to get it? No, he's not going to get it. I think. So the 24. Because he gave him the extra damage. It was a one to pass. Oh my God. I think Justin thought it was a none to pass, but it was a I mean, one a to cool pass. And, uh, math he's just is like, weird these days. Oh, it worked out. Yeah. Math is very weird these hey, days. Hey, I'll take that any day. I'll take that any day. Anything to keep your damage low with Nova's. It's almost like damage starving them. Was the counter play. Yeah. Nova's need a second wave of support. So you're going to go uh, game two. I don't know. That's the thing is that no one really knows how they're going to do it. Yeah, it's just the first year. It must be really weird to advertise for the anime because Aichi will play the same thing for a year. We'll see. 
Have you seen? Dang, Justin Reed, you're four. I mean, everybody's popular. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, get a control on your phone. Oh, okay. No, not until later. Oh, Justin doesn't want to attack. It's like, hold on a second. Trying to get that. Oh. Did he not? Where's that horizon? Where's old bats? Did he already sneak it back in? Well, he drew some threes. His uh, hand is not looking good shield-wise. Not at all. He's got one damage though. So. He, ran, he rolled battle door, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Um, he's got half the combo. That's true. Where's battle horizon? Did he already use it? Or did you choose not to get it out, even though there's no downside? Uh, I believe his only counter blast was face down. <laughs> it's kind of funny that if they, you have the triangle with I thought it was on right to get out kind of like Do you have to have a riser? Or you maybe. Or, I think it was yeah. just. This is like OTTG standard. Oh, looks like he's putting it on rear again, putting it on jar. And three or three more regards plus 5k. It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's, 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 it's usually that third slot. It's either Jaron, um, Galatin, or uh, Fiender Gold. I, I, I will say, like. Like Fiender Gold, if you want the first. Uh, first uh, ooh, that's a nice dot. Even though I saw that Kagro has a bit more record. Well, yeah. yeah. I think OTT just. I mean, you got to draw trigger. That's yeah. okay. That's a lot of damage, though. <laughs> they have more from one to four. Oh, goodbye, cup bowler. Well, what can OTT do? Feels bad every time. Um, they can check the top card for trigger and deal it. So I wonder if Gregory still charged for his attack. I don't know about to check that. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> and they've got a uh, CEO as a good rear card. Uh, every time, actually every time you search or confirm the top card in your deck, like if you look at any top card in your deck, it gets plus five. Yeah, he's just gonna. Uh, just gonna yeah. no, I don't know. <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, his hands look so okay. All right, the double Excel Circle Battle Door. All right, he's got more damage to work with now. Oh, he's got it. Then the Splendor. There it is. Door. There we go. See if he wants to commit more from his hand. Seems. He's at four. I mean, I think you just go for it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. He's at least at four. He might be at five. Maybe four. Yeah, it looks like he's a uh, proc. Uh, yeah, it is once yeah, per turn a, for it's each battle board. Call a unit sick, though. Oh. So it's like you, uh, I don't know, I've seen it. Wait, can he, can he use the guard skill on regret? Uh, I believe so, actually. Mm. Well, you, you, it procs when you attack. Oh, it's on attack? Yeah. I have to check. Okay, so. Yeah, and that's, that's just, true. uh, yeah, it it's looks like he's no just going to go for the, uh, two crit thing again. It's yeah. just, it's just yeah. good. Get two damage still on has five cards in him. Yeah. No, so he cannot intercept with uh, either Jaron or Akane. So, uh, see if he wants to commit more from his hand, or is he, he's just going to go to a fifth damage? It's so hard to have battle doors. Wait, wait, where did he use battle door skills? Uh, well, that was the Splendor attack. Was the battle door? Right. So, which is it? I thought it gave the skill to somebody. Um. I thought Battle Lord gave the skill to somebody. Let me double check. Because there's that grade two that. Oh, yeah. Uh, is he going to get it? No, he's not going to get it. I think. So the 24. I had, put, I had not paid too much attention to this. Oh my god. I think Justin thought it was a one to the worst. Choose one of your units for the battle. It's like, it works out. So which unit did he choose? Maybe he chose the cup bowler because it's like his highest power. We don't got we don't have audio from them, so I'm just gonna have to. Uh, yeah, it could very well be it. Eh, it's not looking too good. Cause, yeah, he's at four. I would think he'd be able to guard one together. I would think that you'd go a little, a little bit more ham. Uh, I mean, his front row is full. Yeah, I think it's just not having perfect riser as your vanguard. I think that's literally the biggest issue he's got. So pull them need to call too. Let's see. Obviously, if it is, you need to call two. And he used the second skill on whatever that is. Yeah. Oh, that is, uh, that's, uh, I want to say that's. That's the one that calls Battle Riser. I want to say that's High Powered Riser custom. Okay, that's probably right. So, if, assuming you did that, you just no guard the first one. Double guard the second one. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Did he already sneak it back in? Either way. I don't see why. Three, his his hand hand. Is not looking good. Especially with an Excel circle power boosted cup like, bowler. It's at least 24. It's 14. Yeah, it's at least 20. Wow. Really? Huh, did he get he didn't get a defensive trigger either. I think that's kind of strange. I feel like it, I'm missing something. He's just he's just literally just letting him just set up for his soul save return. Um not at all. 
more he could have done. But yeah, under four damage, nothing short of a heal trigger or two would be able to get him out of this one. Yeah, yeah there's no way to just open up here. He's not so I heard a woo outside. That could have been out. I mean, this is a... Yep, he's got it. This is... Boom. Yeah, he's just like, yep, take it. This please. is a casual 90k to the board. A <laughs> bonk. Let's see if he's got two PPGs. Perhaps. I didn't see them. Yeah, he's got it. 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 Yeah, he's uh, he's doing some quick maths. He had done that. Yeah, I think he's. I, I think he's like. Yeah, he's 53, 61. Uh, <laughs> Three cards in hand. I don't even think that's possible anyway. He's, he's, uh, maybe with two in the end, but that's not in this meta. Well, so format or clan. Let's say one's a heal trigger. That's a 32. You got. I mean, yeah, if one's a heal. That. No, that's a front, and that would be a quick 2 0 for Greg. Congratulations, Greg. All the glory oh, yeah, that yeah, Earth yeah. goes to you. Yeah, for sure. I feel like we missed something on Justin's last turn. Uh, yeah, because it, it yeah, just it, like he's it just didn't rock. seem like either we were misreading a card or we yeah, think a card does what it doesn't. Or cause it, it was very odd for him to snipe the rear guard there, especially yeah. so even like if they were lower power. Because, like, I saw the face of damage. They were too iconic. Right? Yeah, and nothing was that turn. Uh, I believe so, actually. So, like, nothing ended up, well, nothing connected on Justin's turn, which is not what you want to be doing. Oh, God, not at all. But, I mean, still, good job both um, Certainly more interactive matches coming out today in Standard. Um, we actually had the option today. We're, we're, we're testing something to see whether or not Standard or uh, Premium is a bit more popular. And it seemed like most of the players today were taken to Standard. So, um, I think Standard is I think it's... I think it, the only reason I wouldn't want to play it is that there's only like, four cards. Yeah, um, I think... Only by the time the uh, second booster, the second main booster comes out, and we will have so he four, with, uh, seven, ten, fourteen clans yep. introduced. Um, I think it will be a lot more interesting. Well, yeah, that's when Bushy's planning on making standard, standard. Yeah, by uh, At that point, what, by uh, September. Uh, oh, I thought it was like October. Yeah, around there. Around well, there. That was October the area, attack. the general vicinity. But yeah, at that point, when shadows and target regulars come out. What are you the most excited for? There's there's a bunch of like clans sitting there like that looks fun. Like, spikes. Really spikes. Spikes looks fun. Like, spikes spikes is in spikes is honestly royal power and jumps. Yeah. Right, which is why I, I would kinda wanna look at it. And then uh um, so then I'm like, alright, Grand Blue, because it's protect. So I'm like, let's see what they do with that. Um because uh, like if, if, if Making it a Protect Clan means that it's going to be... Because Protect Clans seem like they just do more things. I mean, we yeah. only have one to look at. I want to say they'll probably return to the core of uh, Grand Blue, where it's making your drops on your hand and not have yeah. to call anything. I'm hoping it's... Uh, we, got, we got Baskirk and I think Corpse Dragon. There was a Corpse Dragon. That no, I meant like, uh, if you're familiar with Magic. Ish, you might have to yeah, Dredge is you... There's something in the drop zone, okay. and then you add your drop zone to get that card. Oh, okay. So it's um, a, so it's, yeah. Currently, some of the stuff that was revealed uh, I mean, is based off of the numbers. number of cards in your drop yeah, zone. I think it's just not um, well, it's just chappy, right? Well, there is also um, th there is also some of the skills revealed on the anime as well that oh, indicated yeah, towards that as well. Like I think uh, Baskirk got like a power boost if there were ten or more cards in the drop zone, something like that. So if they're gonna do that, you need to be able to get ten in like three. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully there are a lot of grade two skills that uh, uh, will. Do that because that might be really hard to do by second. Yeah. Um, and I'm also thinking that, like, just looking at clans, like, just thinking what they do now in premium and thinking what they might do in standard is like, uh, D police might be more consistent. Yeah. And when D police is when D police goes off, it's impossible. It's, yeah, it's super devastating. Yeah. So if they just make it more consistent, it could be just completely devastating. Oh, we're just talking about just. Things, random things. Uh, we're uh -huh. just we're just we're just talking in the space now. It's over. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably uh, end yeah. here. You want to go talk to the game now? Yeah, Maybe right. Just leave the camera in. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can uh, like, it's at least 24. Uh, it's probably leave this on. Um, 
well, you know audio, but we'll probably get a proxy game going and uh, learn some standard. Uh, all right, peace out, guys. Yeah, because like when I saw what Spice was doing, I was like, okay, because everyone assumed that Spice was going to get excelled, but it makes more sense. He's just, he's just literally just letting him just set up for his soul save return. Um, I, I, he got one game more he could have done, but yeah, uh, under four damage, nothing short of the heal trigger or two would be able to get him out of this one. Yeah, there's no way that doesn't. Third over to that side, that could have been. Yep, he's got it. This is Boom. Yeah, he's just like, yep, take it. This is a casual 90k to the board. Oh, Let's see if he's got two PPs. Perhaps. I mean, it's not just attack first. Oh, he's got a Oh, he's got a And the Flogel. The Flogel's fifty percent. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a beefy boy. He's a big one. A beefy boy. He's lost the layers from the from the uh, super buff from him. Uh, he's gained some quick mass to the body. Yeah, I think he's. Uh, Fifty-three sixty-one. <laughs> Three cards in hand. I don't even think that's possible anywhere. He's uh, made with three in the end, but that's not in. Well, so let's say one's a heal trigger. That's a thirty-two. You've got. I mean, yeah, if one's a heal, take that. No, that's a front, and that would be a quick two-zero for Greg. Congratulations, Greg! All the glory that you're posting now. I feel like we missed something on Justin's last turn. Uh, yeah, because it, it yeah, just like it just didn't seem like either we were misreading a card or we yeah, think a card does what it doesn't. Or it, was, it, it was very odd for him to snipe the rear guards there, especially even like, if they were lower power. Because like I saw the face up damage with him, two up hands. Right, okay. and nothing was that turn. Um, so like nothing ended up, nothing connected. I mean, still, good job with those fighters. Um, certainly more interactive matches coming out today in Standard. Um, we actually had the option today. We're, we're kind testing something to see whether or not standard or uh, premium is a bit more popular and it seemed like most of the players today were taking the standard so um, I, think I think it's I think it's the only way I want to play it because that's the only fork 
Yeah, um... comes out and we will have so we can four, seven, seven, ten, fourteen seven. clans introduced. Um, I think it will be a lot more interesting. Well, yeah, that's when Bush is the normal standard. So yeah, I by, uh, at that point, what, by uh, September. Uh, well, I thought it was like October. Yeah, around there. General vicinity, right? So, like, that's what I'm but yeah, at that point, with shadows and these target really, that looks fun. Spikes, spikes looks fun. Like spikes, it? spikes is in, spikes is honestly more powerful than spikes, right? Which is why I, I kind of want to look at it. And then, uh, um, so then I'm like, all right, Grand Zone, and then tags, and I was like, let's see what they do with that. Um, because, like, if, if, if making it a Protect Clan means that it's going to be, because Protect Clan seems like they just do more things. I mean, we yeah. only have one to look at. I want to say, though, I, I want to say they'll probably... Hopefully there are a lot of grade two skills that uh, uh, will do that because that might be really hard to do by second. Yeah. Um, I'm also thinking that like just looking at clans, like just thinking what they do now in premium and thinking what they might do in standard is like uh, deep police might be more consistent. Yeah. And when deep police when deep police goes off, it's impossible. It's, yeah, it's super devastating. Yeah. So if they just make it more consistent, it could be just completely devastating. Oh, we're just talking. Things. Things. Uh, we're just we're just we're just talking in the space now because the tournament's over. Yeah, 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 we can, uh...
leave this on.
Vanguard community. We're back with some more quality Vanguard. It, as it turns out, we thought that there wasn't going to be a fourth round, what there was. So we've got another standard match coming up here. It is not Nova's this time, but it is uh, Kagura versus Royals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, I I think this one's usually cog flavored, favored, flavored, favored. Um, what do you that. what do, what do you think? Taste that. It's what's your, what's your what's your input? Well, I think I mean, guys gets the draw. It's fine. Like if, if as long as I just play this is the only three standard games I played were Cags versus Royals. Now the Royals. Yeah. And the first game we each healed, hit like three heals before while we were above three damage. So, like, it was just a longer game in general. Yeah. I took that one just because I was able to build hand. Yeah. And, sort of like, just deal with Waterfall that way. Yeah. And so I had enough guard more than he had for a threes. This builds my build. So it's yeah. my deck. That's my deck. So. The, the Royals? Yeah. Or the Cags? Cogs. Cags. So, I mean, but if in like a, as long as they get at least a couple Waterfalls in, I think Royals or Cags gets one. It almost seems like I see Nutterfall instead of Overlord when I uh, play this deck. Yeah. So. Early heal trigger, tactically healing at zero damage. Smart. That's a good play coming out. Okay. Blabber, Optim optimal rides. Blabber blade. Good thing that uh, uh, good thing that Susan didn't commit any uh, field because otherwise that would have been an easy retire. Uh, but it looks like he's just going to use that counter blast from Marin skill anyway. Yeah. Plus himself rather than myself. Do you think he's throwing out too much all at once? It's Kags. You don't want to give him more on the Berserk Dragon. Right? It really is true. You can get the draw regardless, but yeah, yeah no, I do, I do definitely agree. Like, why give him the plus two? If they're going to get the plus one, why give him the plus two? I think maybe he's just greeting for the extra crit. We'll see if he calls another unit here. And... He doesn't. Hmm, okay. All right. Yeah, I just, I mean, yeah he's not going to guard any of this because this is... Yeah, I guess... This is 15k one pass. Or still pass. It's a uh, six... Yeah. 20k one to pass, so you just don't guard this. Yeah, you just yeah. On both columns, so I mean, like, you're getting some damage in, but... Unless the crit comes out, and it's just unfortunate, but, you know... Yeah, I mean, he might as well just throw down anything in his hand. It really? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Is they, that a crit? Yeah, yeah, that's a crit. You crit definitely should out. throw anything in your hand. Especially if he's gonna hit damage triggers. Oh, there's the draw trigger. I run six draws, by the way. I, I think I think at least five in Kags is... It's because uh, it, it's to get the extra. So that pretty much just negates the... Uh, that's a 17, 7 to the 18. Yeah, just throw down a trigger and yeah. keep yourself at 2. So, uh, yeah, definitely. If you're going to commit against Kags and you run a blast plate, you might as well just get the, the crit. So one one uh, one thing that I run... So the Kagura mirror match, I run Spillover. In the I deck. think Spillover's correct. Yeah, to... Because uh, you spill or arrow, arrow, arrow to uh, uh -huh. push them with three attacks uh -huh. and then clean up. I'm familiar. Get your get your full value out of your Armos. Ah, yeah. The boost and it. Oh, there cards. we go. Back row, retire. Get yes. out of here. Get out of here, Marin. <laughs> Who's playing Kegs? Uh, Susan. Okay. <sighs> and Armor Dragon. Wow. Well, I like that Armor Knight gets its uh. An interesting Grade Two lineup you got here. Shoutouts to Snapbacks. You got Striking in there somewhere? Uh, no, I don't actually. <laughs> Striking was a disappointment. I run uh, four Berserk, three Nahalem, two Spillover, two Armor Knight. I think if they just reprinted Striking as he was in, in his first instrument, he would have been played. But they didn't. Yeah. Looks like she's calling out a lot here. Probably looking to uh, rush and stuff. It can be kind of dangerous to do. Usually the first and instinct to kind of rush is to rush. Yeah. Whether or not it's correct. Yeah. It depends on... I think this will, it'll be a really chaotic matchup because the uh, Kagura is giving Royals a lot of damage and Royals is giving Kagura a lot of units right. to retire. So an interesting one at that. But it looks like Kevin got a heal. It did not go off, but, you know, that's okay. Does Spillover have to attack the Vanguard? Um, I don't remember, but it has to be boosted. That's Wait, all I remember. Why did she kind of blast? Spillover needs to go to the soul. Uh, Spillover no she kind of was just spill over and he's going to whistle. You want to call that out real quick? I'm right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I will go make sure that's all squared away before it gets used as an intercept. But, you know, either way, it should be fine. It's a 5K, I guess. But, yeah, we'll check that real quick. Looks like uh, Kevin's just going to go ahead and go to his uh, grade three turn. Ah, oh, yep, yep. It looks like it will have to go in his hole. Um, yeah, it's just after it's boosted. Yep. Good catch, Mr. Q. This one is broken, actually. Like, I'm sitting on a broken chair. I'll take this broken chair. Uh. Well, he's got his uh, King of Knights first ride, which is uh, pretty decent. Ideal. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as we said earlier, King of Knights first try does two fourth markers. Three active is scary. Those are blessed, but I'll still remember. That's a, that's a heal. That's oh, he gets that. Good rip by Kevin. Let her rip. Ah, he's in two so many draw triggers. That's really nice. As long as you're drawn into action. Yeah, that's true. I would hate to see a first waddle, waterfall ride here, but... uh. It it definitely feels comes the breaks weird having vanilla triggers again. Um, I like it, it just like yeah. yeah triggers they should do stuff they don't though. <laughs> We're so used to it now. They keep me alive. That heal trigger was pretty important because um, it takes away the punishment. There you go. Yeah, there he is. It's the OG overload. It does look aesthetically pleasing. It really does, especially on the the moon and the play mat right there. Yeah. It just. It, all right, so she gets her uh, gift. Most likely going to put it on her Vanguard. Oh, that's that sign. Oh. I, on all the stops. I bought. You one. max rarity your cags? No. I bought one deck and it had it in it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I was just like, okay, I'm done. Hey, you know. And it was convenient to buy them when I did because they were uh, such a good deal. Oh, Kevin's doing a little dance move right here. Not sure what that's about. He's really gesticulating. So in what situations, like do you go? Do you ride an overlord? Obviously, you want to ride an overlord first. Absolutely. Uh, but do you? Is there situations where you go, okay, I'm riding an overlord if it hits, I'm definitely using a skill. Uh, yeah, you're usually gonna want to use a skill, especially because you run so many draw triggers. It's like you'll you'll have extra cards to do it. Like, well, like a lot of times it's okay. I hit two crit, so now I use a skill, or it's. Okay, he didn't hit a damage. Now I use a skill. But do you ever just ride into him going, I'm definitely using a skill for this? No matter what. For me personally, most of the time, yeah. Uh, unless, like, yeah, he hits defensive triggers, which then obviously you won't want to. But, uh, yeah, most of the, most of the time. And how many times to. are you swinging at Blast Blade first in order to like, get the hit? Out? Oh, oh, you, are you talking about, like, attacking rear guard? Well, like, 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 and just... First off, I'm always attacking Vanguard. Always oh, attacking Vanguard that. to Vanguard? Yeah, because the... Units, not if the PG is protected Vanguard instead of units, then uh, I would I would attack Vanguard. Okay. But no, there's uh there's really not a lot of advantage. It seems like she might go Gaius here in order to uh, force out the guard for this attack. Is yeah. Gaius until end of battle or? End of it is until end of battle, so she will not get the extra crit okay. for the next attack. But Kevin has a big hand. I don't know. Kevin I see at least two Alfreds. Okay, so this is a 30, 45, 58 to 33. It did looks like this less? is a... Oh, uh, yeah, she did. Okay. Because there's a 10K on there. So I'm going to say that's a none to pass. That's that's a none to pass. 33 to a 48. Well, at least she gets another force marker. Yeah. Um, and I don't think any other retiring gone on, so I think that Rayopia is just kind of an 8K. Sitting there, unfortunately, and it looks like the turn is just going to be over. Um, still sitting at three damage, though. Um, she can make it through the Soul Saver turn. If, uh, that was nice. The Undertale, uh, save. Yeah, it looks like he's going to get the Soul, soul Saver. Soul Saver early. Oof. I don't, is he, because he's got a King of Knights. Like, why do you ride Soul Saver? I, I think he's probably going to make the five and soul. Uh, he's got Marin. But she's at three. She's got a million cards in it. Um, yeah. It, it's, um, 
Like, generally, I would agree with you. Trying to save the uh, soul saver for when you finish. Maybe he has a second soul saver in hand. But well, okay, so he has one counter blast. He would have been. You know what? Maybe it's. Uh, could, did he use Mary? I don't think. So. What? I don't believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure he called Alfred. He may have called him at the same time, but I'm pretty sure he called Alfred like first. That is. Uh... Oh, good. We're getting died. Dungeon Well, he's, he's, he's making the board state. When there's, when there's a blanket board state. It's a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best part of blankets. Blanket. So I, I, I don't agree with this play, but, you know, if it works for him, great. See, I just take this damage, PG yeah. the Vanguard, take the other one. Yeah. And also, why is he swinging with that comment first? Oh, it looks like she's PG Vanguard. She might just take the Vanguard. We'll see. Is this really a premium game? Is Kevin running stuff? This is really a premium game. Uh oh. <laughs> is that how you get people? I would have definitely. Um, I would have definitely. Uh, okay. It looks like it looks like that play will not get punished, but definitely PGing uh, the Vanguard is a bit more. Optimal. Like I'm not, I'm not saying Kevin loses off this play. I just think no, it's no, no, a no, poor no. management of resources. For sure. For sure. Um. He does. He did also low damage, but yeah, riding into Alpha uh, is probably a bit because then he could retain the Soul Saver in hand. I think. He yeah. I think she PG'd it. I think you just take it. Like, the odds of him getting another Soul Saver off before the end of the game are very if low. If Susan gets the Waterfall ride, Rayopia will get 5k. And it looks like it's the Overlord over Overlord ride. So, he will... Okay, this is definitely a good play. Putting it under the uh, Vanguard. Uh -huh. To get that uh, 43k Overlord after the, the Soul Blast. We call it the Kagero Special. We call it the Big Boy. <laughs> it looks like, judging from the hand, it's all triggers. So, I think... Probably. Yeah. Dragon Armor Knight doesn't get a bonus. Ryopia doesn't get a bonus. If uh, Kevin can uh, block the uh, Vanguard attack, if he's got a Sentinel in his hand, the game game one looks like his. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Like, Cags, when they go off, they go off. Oh, yeah, but for sure. When they, when they run out of steam. So, it, it okay, so uh, Kevin has four cards in his and that's a lot less than i thought he had actually i i, I wonder if he's gonna take this actually so i think maybe he like panicked you uh, think so trying to end it all early yeah it's like i only have two cards in hand if she does have if she does have the waterfall i can't win yeah so uh, i i do agree with the overlord over overlord play for sure oh, yeah. i i agree with that like unless you have the uh, another grade three you just do that yeah okay so this is a 35 Wow, okay, so 35, 45, 58 to 40. This is a two to pass. Okay, so there's the waterfall. Okay, so she gets the heal off that's for good. sure. That's yeah, that's that's a three, three damage. That certainly takes the pressure off next turn. If she can retain that waterfall, that's a... And, and she's got three, four other triggers in her hand. I, I would say uh, that's not right. Dragon Armor Knight doesn't... Or, uh, no, uh, wait, no, I, I, sorry, I got trigger power. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're just straight up, that's well, incorrect. Well, no, cause However, I would have I would have given the power to Ralphia, and I would have uh, swung a buff, because it's free. Yeah, that's true, for sure. It, 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 did he, he, okay, so he rolled into another Soul Saver, uh, but... What's I, your top deck? Yeah, I'm gonna say that he's not gonna be able to cinch it this turn. Yeah. He, he is in a good spot when he has a, when he actually has a field. Yeah. Um, I think the waterfall turn is just going to be too much, though, for his uh, for his hand, though. Yeah. Like, I, 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 if he somehow pushes three damage this turn, he's got it. Otherwise, I don't think he can do it next Well, he's got a... Ma yeah, he's got a maximum of a three attack. I don't think... We'll have to see. Okay, so he attacked with the rear first. So, if... if, if she, so, I would... So, if you don't have a PG, I take this. I take it. Right. I, um, so that you just... Uh, you know, they get one crit. Okay. And, all right, so the draw trigger coming out, but he got a Sentinel. It doesn't matter too much, nope. though, because... It's literally just a card. Game. You know Waterfall is coming next. I, I think Kevin should really try and thin out her rear guards or uh, just thin out gross. the rear. That hand is gross. Yeah, the trial deck of triggers. Well, I mean, the triggers look nice. Yep. But not when it's all you oh, got. Oh, are you going for Reopia instead of Knight? Oh, you want Knight. Well, I mean, I, I would actually guard that. Oh, you of course guard it. Yeah, yeah. When yeah, your yeah. hand is garbage, you protect what's on the field. 
Especially when you know you're going to win next. Yep. Yeah, that, I, that's that's the correct play right there. That is a correct play. And, well, it, it looks like uh, we can kind of see the future on this one. That's ideal. All right, so Ralpia is going to be 10K, 10K boost. Because I thought she, draw, she drew a Berserk Dragon yeah. as well. So Ralpia is uh, big. Uh, I'm pretty sure that means that Dragonite's going to get bigger. If you really, um, if you, yeah, because it'll be three. Right, and you if you really want to, when you ride, you put you put your force marker under something else because there's a good chance you can't. Honestly, I would still be putting it under the Vanguard. But then you put everything on it to get to heal. 